Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Blood of Mine, part 3, I am pretty sure we're on now, guys. So we are back. I guess it might be like The Witcher 3 part 55 as well. Um, yeah, I'll try and say that. You know, it's one long continuous playthrough, although, um, you know, we got little breaks in between. Right, no, you may be wondering, hey George, what are we doing here? Why are we still in the place where the the uh, the last quest, even though it was this quest, I guess, sort of, we did half the quest, where we ended last part. And that's because there's actually something I want to get, because I sort of forgot to get it. Um, I guess, I don't know, I kind of just wanted to see Regis, and I got all caught up in it. I get caught up in stuff a lot, and then I just kind of forget to go and get things. But it's nice to get the reminders. So there's something I, I actually think I know exactly where it is. There's I think it's over here. here. Need to use the eye. Yeah, there you go. Interesting. Okay, well, we'll take the sword. Cassus, I don't think it's as good as... No, it is not. Wait, is it? No, it is not. I kind of said that a bit early, I think. But cool. So, we got the sword. Some armor die. You know, I was thinking... Oh, I'll say it in a minute. Right, a knight's oath. Let's read this quickly. Here rests Sir Ramon of Git Gitchon. Git Git Gitchon, I think it must be. On my grave, you will not find the likeness of the man who once lived. I gave my heart, soul, and body to the knightly craft and wished to be remembered as a knight. The symbol of chivalry is a naked sword, and that symbol rests above me. The sword that defended my honor, my friends, and my heart. The sword that was closer to me than a brother. The sword that was never stained by the blood of an innocent man. Let it rest on this stone through the ages. Ooh. Well, you know, I'm sure it has rested there for ages. Um... Look, there's another sword. That that's what that must be the sword. He doesn't mean the sword I took, obviously. He doesn't mean that, guys. Oh, there's a there's a thing. Oh, wait. Oh my god, I actually did it. I did it. Things are starting to look up, guys. Wait. There's something over there. What? Oh, it must be in the woods. Can I get out of here? No, that's not happening. Okay, well. Um the first thing I want to start with today um, is I want to go and see the, the Ducal Camelengo, I think it's called, because I want to, I want to try and just get that dialogue out of the way, and I think, I don't think it gives me, like, a quest or something, although, oh, I, I have a few people I need to play Gwent with that I keep forgetting to Gwent. Whoa, Geralt's eyes look, like, glowy. Look at that, that's weird. Right, okay, so, we're here, we're doing it, we're on our way. Um, Geralt's eyes have adjusted a little bit since last time, um, we'll see if you, you notice what I mean by that. But, um, you know, th things have changed a bit. Geralt's become more accustomed to the Tucson sun, and it's, he's starting to, starting to become more, more, more fairy tale, blood and whiny as time goes by. You might have noticed slight changes um, that you might actually like. I think we missed a few of these graves last time. You can move mountains. Should we read them all? I feel like we don't need to read all the graves. Also, there's a thing over there. I'm going to carry on. We have to come back here anyway. Maybe we'll read it later on. Oh yeah, guys, I was actually reminded by someone about something I, um, I didn't do in the first Blood and Wine part. It's a really, really minor thing, but I'm just gonna also show you that now. It's fine if I miss, like, a tiny little thing here and there, and then I get reminded and I show you later down the line. Honestly, I'm fine with that. So I'm gonna show you that now, and then we'll be right back here to carry on with today's part. Mademoiselle, are you certain you dropped it right here? Yes! I cannot return without my engagement ring! <laughs> No, no, please do not leave. I shall continue searching. to repay you. you take the high roads and I'll take the road. Yeah, but that's pretty much all I missed from the Beast of Toussaint quest. I didn't miss anything else. I'm pretty sure, I mean, may maybe there was another uh, noble with a ring I uh, I happened to walk past during my search for the beast that was going to kill uh, um, my, my, I, I wasn't going to say friend, but sort of friend. You know, it was, it was a rush time. Um, no, I, I'm, I'm annoyed I missed it, but it's not too big of a deal. Honestly, uh, uh, I don't know. I'm not really that annoyed at all, actually. It's, it's something that I feel like 
Canonically, if, if Geralt doesn't do it, it doesn't really matter that much. I'm not too bothered. But, um, you know, I showed you it today, and if I happen to miss anything in the future, I'm sure you guys will uh, let me know about that, and I'll, uh, I'll put it back in on a future part, as I've done with a couple other things that I just haven't shown you or or um, I've just forgotten about and that sort of thing. So, yeah, let's uh, carry on with today's part anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Maybe you didn't even know about that little quest. It's quite quite cool. I am going to try and do the rest of La Cage R4 today, but uh, R4. But I have a few things I want to do first. Actually, I have a lot of things I want to do first because I think I have to finish like all the secondary quests before I progress too far with the main quests. I think it's specifically before a quest known as Capture the Castle. So I want to try and get basically everything done before that point. So I'm going to start today by going and doing some stuff. We'll see what happens. Um, let's see how, how the world has adjusted since last time. Ooh. See, yeah, it looks, it looks sort of different, I think. Maybe? What time is it? Let's, let's, it's still got the creepy music. I don't like it. The Witcher, I can see you're a kid. Thanks. I mean, I'm not, but thanks. I like it. Wait, no, a killer? Yeah, I guess. I guess, you know, sort of. A little bit. Kind of. Is Geralt a killer? I guess he sort of is, isn't he? Uh, Excuse me. Excuse me. That? It was me, it was Geralt. Ah. I was doing stuff. Right, okay. See, they're dancing. Why can't we dance? I love you. Right, now I want to go to the Ducal Camelango and I want to work out what it is I got to do in regard. What, what am I doing? I got to get there? I don't know where I'm going. I don't know why I walked down that way. I think I heard music in it. My sister saw where this one beggar buried some gold coins. Where, was the, where were these gold coins you speak Top of? of the day. Hey, no, no, no. Gold Whoa. coins. Whoa. Yeah, where is are the gold coins? Head? Okay, look, I spent too much time messing around. I've, I've already spent a lot of time just wandering around and, you know, trying stuff. A knight is one who does I hope people see the wins. difference. Okay, yeah, I, th I think it's here. I think it's here. Um, I also, it should be a little bit better indoors now. You know, his eyes have adjusted, as I said. There he is. Hello. Greetings, brave hero. I am Raphael de Sorman, and I am the Ducal Camarlengo. I'm Geralt. So what is it you do here? I pay the knight's errand. For what? Our knights wander the roads protecting Toussaint from bandits and monsters. It is fitting and just that they be recompensed appropriately for these toils. Uh, note, sir, that should you successfully smash a hands, save a brother knight from peril, or extract a captured merchant from the hands of cutthroats. Come see me. You shall be rewarded. See, I can't remember if you can actually let them stack up, so I could just go and clear loads of markers, then come and get a bunch of money, or I have to do it, like, one at a time. I could trial it. Yeah, I think I will do that. Right. Let's, let's ask the uh, dialogue first, I guess. Can't help but be curious. But where do the funds for those payments come from? The Ducal Treasury. Her illustrious highness, Anna Henrietta, assigns great value to bravery and selfless patriotism. It is her standing order that any knight may receive a wage, <coughs> pardon me, financial compensation for his dedication to defending the duchy's internal security and order. Okay, that makes sense. You sell stuff? Wouldn't mind a glance at your books. Ones you're willing to sell, that is. I mean, I want to have all the books. I don't even want... What do you mean, willing to sell? I think I just knocked the mouse again. Wonderful. Right. A note. Wow. I've, I've already read all these. I can read these for additional um, information. A Gwent history book? What? Okay, I'm actually getting tempted to buy some of these books, although I don't just want to sit and read books. Right. Should I should I come back and buy these books? I'm interested in the Gwent history. I'm going to buy the Gwent history book, I think. Although I have no idea when I'm going to read it. Does this allow me to... No, I'm assuming it won't. Right. I've probably got to go and check with a bunch of smiths for stuff, don't I? Okay, we'll deal with that at some point. Right. I'm going to buy the Gwent History book. I think that's kind of funny. Can I read the book, or is it going to be one of those things where it's like a pain? Right, hang on, let me read well, the book. Go in peace for a night. Thanks, thanks. Okay, complete the contracts you Wait took on from the... Remember the Camerlango pays out a handsome reward for 
Chance. I mean, I didn't take on a contract, but apparently I have now. Ah, so I'm assuming it's all the... Okay, I've actually been told which markers he wants me to do. This is very nice. I like it. Uh, what am I going to do now? Oh, yeah. So I'll, I'll play Gwent with him in a second, but the quest I want to do to start off with is an important one that I keep not doing, and it's Turn and Face the Strange. Or at least I didn't do it last time, and I said I would. So I'm going to start with that. Then I think we're going to do this. This is a really, really cool quest. I like this one a lot. It leads into some fun things. Um, and then I might do this. I kind of want to do this at the very end of today's part, almost. Uh, which is kind of weird, because I started it last time. And, but I've got a lot of, like, minor things to do. Greetings, knight. Oh, he's calling me a... I'm a knight now. Gwent me. Wouldn't happen to play Gwent, would you? Of course he does. Okay, we're going to use the worst deck I have, which is the monster deck. It's 100% the worst, but I, I like using cards. Okay, my opponent's also going first. Things are not looking great at the start of this game, but we'll see how it progresses. Tempted to keep the Fiend, but I think I'm going to get rid of him. Okay, this is a decent hand. Triss is kind of awful, though. If I draw a Crone... Okay, good, good. Right, we're going to open, I think, just with... Although they might... No, they can't be Scorched, because one's like a five or something, right? There you go. Right, he's trying to catch up, but I don't think he can. Right, we're going to put all gear down, because he's only a six, although it leaves me open to Scorch potential. Okay, that's fine. I can revive him. I can revive him. I think I'm going to skip now, because I've got like a 38 lead. No, no, 28. Well, my top, why, why is my math so awful? Is 28 enough? He could just Scorch, but you have to Scorch, then Scorch, then Scorch. I'm going to skip. Happy with that. Okay, okay I'm... Uh, 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 what? Okay, thanks for g keeping that, that, that treasure on the board. Needed that one, to be honest. So this guy, he, he's basically a Scorch, isn't he? For the, um... For the second row there. So I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna keep him. And then maybe just Scorch and, like, have a skip again. I want to play everything that he has that's good. I want him to even try and Scorch my... He won't use a Scorch. He won't. I'm going to play all this. I'm just going to make him play every card he's got. Okay. Is it just kill the highest thing on the second row, right? I'm going to use it, I think. I don't think he's going to put another 10 down on that row. Oh, oh. He won the first round. Do you know, I didn't even realize. Is that dumb? Oh, I really want to... You know what? I'm going to open with this. I'm going to open with a, a thing he can't touch. I, d I don't want them to have, like, a decoy or something annoying, and then I give them the spy. Okay, we've won. Right, I want to just... I just want to shove it in a little bit. Just because just this guy kind of annoyed the hell out of me. Look, I'll, I'll boost him up a bit. Oh, that's perfect. I'm just, I'm just, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I, normally, I would just, like, not do that, but this, this person is annoying. Yeah. How does that, how does this feel, huh? Oh, remember that seven I gave you? It's gone now. You don't even have it. And you know what? I'm gonna make your board look all awful. Oh, wait, it, it kind of, okay, that kind of screwed me over. Look, shut up, I have one. Right, thanks for the contracts. I'll be back soon to take some more money Ooh. off you. No, I'm, okay, look, I'm not that much of a horrible person. Why is, look at my beard. Oh my it god, it's like really come in. Should I shave it? Do you think that's a bit bit much? God, how long was I playing Gwent for? Geralt, you've aged massively. It's got all, it's got like a massive beard now. Maybe I should go and get like a, you know what, I think I have to go back to the tawny grounds at some point soon. So I could, I'm not going to get it clean shaven, that's only every new zone. But I might just get a little bit of a trim, you know. Um, so I want to go down there. I'm actually going to take the route by the docks because I haven't really been to the docks yet. And I think that'll be interesting. 
Yeah, yeah, I'll, I want to see and then Hermiata, whatever. Oh, this is nice. Oh. Oh. Take him for a ride? Oh, are they fighting? Oh, is this like a quest I can do? Should I do some fist fighting? Oh, this is actually a, a fight I can do. Should I? I'll do it while I'm here. Why not? Surely you. Of course do you I do. To jump in, considering it. So you're not surprised. Consider this as well. Here, intellect counts as much as strength. You see, Mancom is no ordinary fighter. Okay, I'm hearing that he might be a cheat. You know, I'm concerned. Mancomb? First I've ever encountered that name. One should never judge an opponent by his name. Master Mancomb is a saddler, though a valiant one at that. His blows are as fierce as his reposts are sharp. Okay. I think Geralt's eyes have truly adjusted to the Toussaint sun now. <laughs> it's really showing. Right, count me in. Oh! These are some big bets. So it's basically the Gwent thing, but, you know, whatever. Fine. Let's start. Oh, my knees quake like a carnival rattle. Let's get on with this ridiculous battle. I'm a top taunter. The best around. Not one to be beaten by some inbred hound. <laughs> that's not... that's not a very big taunt. It, just calling me an inbred hound. Okay, the hound part I'll give you because of the wolf thing. I, I don't know. I don't know where they got the inbred thing from. You know, I'm sure a lot of people are inbred. Wait, uh, as in in the witch? <laughs> I don't know, but maybe not. Um, hear how pathetic and stupid you sound. Okay, Garrett, that's really mean. That's probably better. Yeah, that's the best one. That's that's funny, but this is better. I can't. Oh. Ah. Uh. Ah, oh, the pull is too strong. I must. <laughs> I have to click it, guys. I can't. I, uh, it has to be done. Guess you know, since your mom's a bitch. Oh. Ah, pathetic. This will be easy. What's wrong? Afraid? Got feeling queasy? Yeah, because you stink. Guys, I don't even need to look at the other options. That's the one I'm choosing. Afraid I might kill you? It, it's got me uneasy. Bored of talking, time to fight. Nah, nah, it's because he stinks, that's why, Geralt. Yeah, you tell him. Yeah, you stink something vicious. It's making me sick. <laughs> Give it up. Go home. Your efforts are futile. Your wits as flaccid as a wet noodle. Oh yeah? You're just too dumb to get the insults. To, so you're just too dumb to get insults this brutal. You're weak. Let's <laughs> fight already. No, he's too dumb. He doesn't understand the complexity of the your 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 mum is uh as Geralt said. Um right, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't understand guys. This is actually progressing further than I remembered. <laughs> See why do you say that, you dim flap doodle? Too dumb to grasp insults this brutal. Uh, I've got to admit. Do you know how to roast a man? You win. Mean we're not gonna fight? Why? I told you, you've won. The Witcher wins! What? Beating Mancombe at his own game. You out-tongued me, but only because I'm under the weather today. I'd have lashed you raw otherwise. Right, sure. Two more champions to defeat before you can challenge the Maestro. Still Waters is to be found in Oatville, not far from Mountbank Alley, while Colossus fights in the largest courtyard in San Sebastian. I I won. I don't have to fight him. <laughs> I tell you, I, I I know that there are options to like skip fights in the Tucson thing, not skip, but like other ways to fight people, you know. So a verbal one. I I know the other one, and then I think the last one you have to fight them, but I don't want to say which one's which. Uh, and I I don't think I've ever done that. I don't think I've ever done this option. I, I, I knew there was two options for it, 
but I don't think I've ever actually done it. <laughs> or maybe got it right. I don't know. That was incredible. Hello. I'm a good talker, and that's What did you just say? I just won the the. I'll I'll, I'll use the uh, your mum line again. That's right, child. Okay, I think there's actually a quest up here. I seem to remember. I just recognized the North Guardian Embassy. Yeah, I think there's one down there, so I want to go and get that. It's a really good quest. Um, just while I'm here, you know. Then we'll go and actually do the the quest that we've got, which is, what is it again? It's uh, turn and face the strange. I keep on getting distracted, guys. It happens, okay? One false move and oh. Sir, come to me, please. Approach. You, you just, she has to say come hither. That'll get us to go over there way more quickly. I'm just going to walk slowly now. There's a bunch of people in the way. Hmm. Okay, she didn't say it. I thought, you know, funny if she, okay, right. My eyes were not deceived. Yet so far south. You, sir, of all folk in all your fame. Mm-hmm. Me. South in all my fame. Oh, I've heard so much. Why, when Master Dandelion tarried in Beauclair, not a day passed without him baying out a ballad in admiration of your deeds. <laughs> yeah. Unwelcome little habit of his. But what can I do for you? Ah, oh, you see my betrothed, Francois Le Goff, vowed in my honor to bring me the head of the horrid beast they call Gretore. Hmm. Couldn't have gotten you a bouquet, some sweets in a bag. Witcher, sir, you jest. A love most true demands proof through heroic deeds dedicated to the heart's captor. But alas, Francois has been gone a fortnight. Thus, I must plead with you to see what's become of him. Could you? Would you? I mean, I think a bag of sweets sounds pretty good. Um, right, okay, we'll talk about our reward, of course, but first of all, this Gratore, know anything about it? This Gratore? Know anything else about it, mademoiselle? Judging by the name, guessing it lives in a cave. Yes. From which it prowls when hungry. By night, when all are asleep, it creeps into villages. Then, of a sudden, breaks open shutters, reaches inside and snatches babes from their cradles so quickly they've not the time to yelp. Hmm. Nocturnal. Long prehensile arms. Intelligent. Francois claimed he would cut the filth down in a snap. But he's been gone so long. Will you help, sir? I cannot sleep. I fear this worrying will be the death of me. See, my initial thought when doing this quest was like, oh, a vampire? Nocturnal? Weirdly long arms? Some of them have really weirdly long arms. Can get up high, you know, snatch people from their beds. But I feel like they, you know, most lesser vampires would be way more bloody than that. Could be, you know, like a Bruxer or something, but I, I, it really reminds me of the BFGM. We'll, uh, you know, we'll see why. Right, okay, my reward, let's talk. Yeah, we gotta get a good reward for this, all right? We got 50 crowns from our last contract, and that took forever. There's some people eavesdropping on our conversation. You know, she's clearly eavesdropping. She doesn't know I have the, uh, the sixth sense. Rarely my want to turn down a damsel in distress. Even less so when there's a... <clears throat> prize involved. Ah, naturally. Why, you, sir, are no knight errant, but a guildsman, an expert. How much would you need? God, this is actually a decent contract. Okay, good, right. You know, I'd, I'd say about, like, 400 crowns. Yeah, yeah, that seems... F oh, God, it's going very far. A few crowns less, master. A fistful. I beg you, sir. Okay, fair enough, yeah. Um, I, I'd say about tens of fistful. You know what? We'll go down 20. How about that? A few crowns less, master. A fistful. I beg you so. Okay, I'm getting a bit annoyed now. How about, how about this? How does it sound? Yes. That amount I am prepared to pay. You know what? 370 is pretty good. <laughs> I think I might not have been doing this as well before with the, the whole debating thing. I kind of don't get that. I think you... The annoyance level, like, decreases the amount you can get off them or something, maybe? Or maybe the more you annoy them, the likely... I don't know. It's, it's a weird thing. I think it must be something like that. I get it in the sense that if you do too high, they get really annoyed. If you do it not too high, then you start to learn where that point is. I feel like it's one of those things where there is a set point that you can get the maximum for, and it doesn't matter what you do. 
as long as you hit that, like, point at the end. Right, okay, whatever, right, I'll look into it. Do my damnedest to get your fiancé back safe and sound. Just, uh, mind telling me where to look for him? I forget you come from afar and do not know our land. They say Grituri has its lair in the caves at the foot of the Gorgon Hills. That close to the city? Telling me no bold souls have ventured out to defeat the beast? Quite the contrary. Plenty have, but none's returned. My concern is well founded. I see. All right. High time I set off. Okay. I still have an exclamation mark on her. Please, Master, tarry not. I beg you. I must know my Francois's fate. I'm assuming I can get that quest from like a signboard, right, as well, or like a notice board or whatever. So, what did it say? I have to find Francois. I also saw a glossary entry. But I actually, I think I have to read a glossary entry for this. Yeah, read the bestiary about whites. Well, have a look at both. I think whites will be under necrophages, which is conveniently open. I don't know why I just closed it. Um, okay. So we'll read that first. Spotted Whites. The best defense against Spotted Whites. Stay calm and leave them alone. Fragment of a treatise on Spotted Whites by Roderick Gilligan. Uh, spotted Whites were a subspecies of white which the witches drove to extinction. They were larger than their unspotted kin and owed their names to their numerous blotches and eff effusions. It's like... Effusions. Is that is that like, like an eff effigy thing? It looks like they got something on their head. Effusions. It's like a... What? I, th I don't think it is. I think it's just a fusion. It's like a, like a sort of thing on the skin or something. Okay. Spotted whites would most often dwell in derelict cemeteries and empty wildernesses. Yet at times took to living in abandoned human domiciles. There they would indulge in their greatest passion, creating bruise from their own emissions. When not disturbed, spotted whites would not act aggressively. If threatened, however, they became very dangerous indeed. In the colder months, or when faced with an unseasonable chill, um, they would slip into a state of lethargy, making them easy targets, even during their active periods. It is said the witches found a surefire way of besting them, based around careful casting of the Iridan sign, or, at least, so claims Witcher lore. Which, sorry, um, or at least so claims Witcher Law. I don't know why I'm reading it so weirdly, alright? Okay. Incredible. We did that quest. Uh, oh no, we have to do that quest. Oh, and La Cage Alf. I'm assuming it's because, just to make sure, yeah, it's because I read the bestiary. Okay, well, I guess, um, I gotta do a bunch of quests now. I think the one I wanna do next, though, is Turn and Face the Strange. Because I keep on, I keep on getting distracted, alright? Okay, I'm gonna go and do that now, and yeah, I'll, I'll just head over there now, I guess. Amazing. Right, we have made it to the, um, I guess, like, graveyard. We came here before, didn't we, for that other mission? Well, I wonder if that thing's still there. It was by a tree. I think it was this tree. You know what, we'll check this quickly. I'm just actually curious if it's still there. Although it hasn't been that much time, so it'd be kind of weird if it was already gone. I'm pretty sure it's gone, right? Because it was there in that weird sort of spot. Oh, okay. Um, amazing. Right, no, yeah. Let's have a look at some of these uh, these graves then. So we got to find the one for Moreau. I'm pretty sure I know which one Moreau's is, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go to that one last. I want to see what all these other graves say. Um, hello. Ah. Christian Curit. Mistranslation. Misunderstanding. Misfortune. Okay. Patrick Mo Molins. Talked himself to death. Right. Um, Philip, Philip Tis Tisserand, collector of Witcher Blades, only had one but tried very hard. Okay. To be fair, that's quite a big collection, considering I don't know how many people even have them. Um, Le Hirondelle, princess from a, far, from a land far across the seas. Oh, I wonder if that, um, that side quest is going to pop back up at any point. You know, the people that were trying to actually get to Tucson, we saved them. Martin Calicot, Calisot, I don't know, killed by his own ambition. A lot of these graves are very, um, <laughs> like one-liners. Uh, okay. Pierre, maybe, and Alexandra, perhaps. 
uh, barely knew each other and their love was all the deeper for it. Okay. I guess it didn't wane over time. <laughs> uh, right. You. There's another one. Mar Marquise de Dan Danicha. Wait, wait, I can explain everything. Okay, I, I, I wonder if the uh, the people that killed him made that grave for him. Okay, is this is this a f no? We've got two more. Caroline Satire. Just what? Just um. Sorry, I'm just double taking on that. Just what? Don't you? Okay, I can't say. I'm gonna read it how it actually is written. Just, just what? Don't you? Mm, f f f understand you? F k um, she said to her cat when it refused to fetch a stick, working her into a fatal rage. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Nicholas Swade. Uh, come on, one more for the road. Wow, okay. Okay, so I think this is it, right? Ah. Thomas or Thomas Moreau. Professor. Oh. Elas Kehavani Alde Alde en Dol Nevde Elas Alde Nekorason Glosan a Eliren. I'm doing that as a <laughs> the most <laughs> over the top pronunciation. Inscriptions in elder speech. Salvation lies not in Dol Nevde, but in our hearts. Glory be to Eldarin. Girl, it's it's Eli, uh, Eli Ren. What, what was it again? Eli Ren, or Eli Eli Ren, or Eli Ren. It might be actually Eli, Eli Ren. You know what, Girl? You didn't say it with the accent. I'm disappointed. Damn, Professor's journal's long gone. Guess somebody else found out about it too. Should look around, see if I can find something else. Good idea, Girl. Oh, I found something. It is a dead body. Professor certainly can't do much to help me with my search. Well, you know, we know some necromancy. I mean, we know people that do necromancy. I think, I think Yennefer's dabbled, as we we know, and um, we could get Olgird. That that'd be a good way to bring him back. You know, hey Olgird, can you can you reanimate this professor, please? Footprints, narrow and shallow. Somebody small, light, woman maybe. Wonder where they lead. I thought they got the journal a long time ago, or maybe it's more recent. Let's we'll see where they lead. Ah, they, they seem to have used the, the signpost uh, tactic of, of disappearing. I was going to say this is a signpost, but I, I think the signpost is down there. That looks like a signpost, all right? Damn it. Trail breaks off. Wonder if the grave robber learned more than I did. Hmm. Won't learn anything else here. Map Yen sent me will have to do. Also, Epitaph mentioned both Elorin and Dolnevde, Valley of the Nine. Oh. Okay. So, what sword do we have? This is the, sorry, this is the sword we got. I realized I didn't even have a proper look. It's actually quite good. It's very good in regards to a lot of things. Another quest I actually have to do, although I'm not sure how early is, where is it? This one. Because um, this is in order to get a very good sword, which I actually want to use. So I'm, uh, yeah, I'd say I'm, you know what? I might even do that quest after this one. Maybe. I'm tempted. Because I do have to get it done. We'll, th we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so I have to check the location of Nevde on the map. Okay. Um, I've got loads of stuff to do, actually. I've got to, um... Where is this map? How do I... Is it in other? Oh, is it going to be really annoying to find? There's got to be a better way to navigate the, the books, right? Okay, I found it, but th that's not what I'm saying. Old map of Toussaint. Okay, so there's Beauclair, and I'm assuming... Is that the palace of Beauclair? Up there? Okay, you, I'm, I'm actually kind of pointing at the screen here, and I realize you guys have no idea what I'm saying. Okay, well, we read the map. Site marked on the map's all wet now. Sonratour flows through there. Must be where the Valley of the Nine once lay. Need to explore the location. Oh, interesting. We can try and actually work out what this map means if I have a quick look at... So it's here. That's... Okay, so this weird thing, and then Beauclair is left of that. So out of curiosity... Okay, well, it looks like Beauclair is left of something else which I'm assuming 
I'm assuming that's Beauclair because the palace is on a separate island. Yeah, so that was Beauclair, and then this was that bigger thing that clearly has sunk into the water. Okay, interesting. Right. Okay, so I guess if we go to the Mier Lachier's Long Cemetery, it'd be good. It's actually getting quite late in the game, but um, I'm, I think it'll actually be fine for us to walk around in the dark. Yeah, I can see pretty well, all things considered. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm having a lot of trouble pronouncing all this stuff, guys. I am not a, a French pr pr pronouncing person. I'm bad at pronouncing at the worst of times. Wait, at the best, at the best of times. Shut up. See? See what I did there? I even used English wrong. That's a giant bear. I guess just a normal sized bear. I mean, maybe I'll set it to daytime just for now to, to, because even, um, it can get processed weirdly. It looks fine to me now, like I can see fine. You know, I should actually, I just came to a, a quick realization that I need to work on some alchemy stuff. <laughs> You're probably like, why are you doing it now? But it's, uh, you know, it's got to be done. Um, although I have now run out of Arenia, which is a little bit annoying. Um, I have to make potions, but I specifically want to make this, right? Potions now heal instead of doing damage. So that's pretty good. Sorry, not po potions, poison. So if I get attacked by those annoying spiders, I will just heal, which is actually really good. You know what? I'm going to make this first, I think. What is it called? Queer, 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 queer. What am I doing? Um. Okay. Queer, 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 queer. Okay. And then I want to make this. I actually want to make every potion. I'm getting pretty close to being able to do that. And I also have to make... Um... I could make every deto uh, de 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 decoction, but it's sort of like, why? It increases my sound intensity during cloudy weather. They're decent. They're just a bit, like, pointless, really. I guess I'll probably be wanting to make all of these. Okay, right. Let's set it to daytime, and let's explore this, this, um, this thing we got to look for, apparently. See, I think it's nice at daytime. I do like nighttime. I think it has a nice little atmosphere and it's appropriate at points, but um, during or oh, appropriate at points. But I think during the exploration, it's good just to be able to see a bit better. Oh, there's some drowners over there. Nice. Or drowned dead. Either or. Oh. I'm actually wondering what the best crossbow for me to get is. I might have a look, um, see if I can find any, because I'm realizing that I'm kind of at a point where I'm just using the crossbow I have found. Hang on, let me just, I want to explore here a bit. It looks like a cool place. I don't want to be interrupted. I should probably get this equipped. Okay, well, I'll have that. We'll see how long this lasts. I would actually just like to explore this place a bit. That would be nice. Oh. Okay. Well, it's getting hard to loot with all the drowners attacking me, I'm going to be honest. Um, yeah, that's where i got to go, but is there any loot around here? So, assumedly, this was like an elven city or something at some point. That map must be elven, or at, at least... You know, maybe just after the humans stole it from them. Ah, see? This is why you loot. I found... Oh, look, there's more stuff. Hang on, I want to... I need to go back up. Found some glowing ore? That's good. We can make dimeritium out of that. That's going to become a bottleneck. I should also be deconstructing, like, a bunch of other stuff I have that I, um... I kind of just can't be bothered to deconstruct. And I know it's stuff I need to deconstruct for materials, um... And I've been collecting it over the playthrough. But I'll, I'll get back on that soon. For now, though, I'm just exploring Tucson, having a nice time. What is in here? Some sort of cave. Ah, see? This is why you look. I'll say it again and again and again. Look at that. I just found a bunch of stuff. I like it when games reward you for doing the extra things. It's nice. I should probably have a potion that, you know, prevents me from dying. Um... Ah, uh, see, see, look at this. A 
Okay, can I sneak up here? Uh, uh, okay, I can't. I gotta go around, I think. Unless, maybe, maybe, hang on, maybe. Okay, yeah, there you go. Let's see what this is then. Ah, see? A bunch of golden stuff. These are probably worth selling, actually. Oh my god, I'm getting so much stuff. This is totally worth looking around in. There's even like a little cave over there. I want to try and go in there, but I'm just going to um, restore my breath first. What was that sword I got? Uh, it's not very good, but it's still cool. Oh, it's nice. Okay. Right. So there is a cave here. Although, I don't think this is the right place necessarily, or the place I want to be going. This is just somewhere that I know I can probably loot. Oh, I think I actually do end up coming back here, maybe. Oh, this is, this is, this is the treasure hoard. Look what I have found through just, just forcing myself to look. I just found, like, so much stuff. What's in there? Hang on, that's red. I don't want to... Okay, it's locked. Okay, that will come up later, I imagine. Although everything else is now looted for my pleasure. Made a save, just in case. But I'm assuming I will have to come back here for some sort of quest down the line, or maybe soon, you know? Um, we'll see, though. It was locked. I think maybe we do have to come back quite soon, actually. God, I might drown. Hang on. Okay, well, I've looted a lot of stuff. A lot of things have been looted here. I don't ha know how much I'm going to skip, because for the most part, I'm just going around looking for any sort of chest I can find. It's getting me a lot of dimeritium back, which is good, because I was running out of that. Right, I ran out of killer whale almost. Okay, let's just... Go back down again. Okay, I might have got everything. I might have missed, like, a chest, but I'm not too bothered. I'm sure I'll be coming back to have a look at some point in the future. Although I'm pretty sure I got most things. Okay, there's something down there. Could it be herbs? I remember I almost missed something earlier, so maybe this was what I was thinking about. Okay, just over in this direction. Yeah, there's something over there, too. God, how much is there? Oh god, what? I feel like I've missed an entire area somehow. There's just like, oh, there's like just piles of money. Oh, I guess this is sort of where... That's where I went into that cave, right? I guess I probably just got distracted by the cave. Okay, I feel like that might be almost everything. Surface, quick. Right, I'll go through the portal, and I'm gonna go the correct way. Oh god, Geralt, it's getting- we're getting low on breath here. Okay. Right, we're here. I'm gonna actually tell you what. Hey, Robert must have found something in Moreau's tomb to activate the entry portal. Wonder what surprises this place has in store. We'll have to see, Geralt. First things first. Quick little rest to reset the toxicity. We'll keep the killer whale on for now. Might even keep it in that slot, just um, because I imagine. I don't know, why not? It's useful. Um. Oh, this looks like a looting spot, guys. See, see this little bit up here that they kind of expect you not to bother looking in? Yeah, that's where they put the good stuff. Copper. A dull meteorite axe. Although, that's pretty good. And some elven stuff. Yeah, that map must have been elven, 100%. Considering the history of Toussaint as well. It's gotta be. And this is like one of the elven things that was here when this was all... Assumedly above ground at some point, or I guess this could have been spikes. Sixth sense of humor someone's got. Yeah. 
Or at least um, this is like the underground part of a city, if that makes sense. The elves like to do that, I suppose. Okay. Oh my god. Can they loot that body? No. Okay, this, this is going to be d tough. Okay, are right, you ready? I almost ran straight back into it by trying to get the loot. That guy's not lootable. Okay. I'm gonna actually go through here just to see what's there. There's a chest, it looks like. So, what's the best route? Okay, I know the best route. I've already worked it out. Although it's not exactly hard. Right. Oh, another sword. Me mel, mel. Oh, we got two of the same. Oh, by the way, I think someone mentioned, I know the relic swords, which are like these, are generally unique-ish, but I do have duplicate relic swords as well, and I know that these two, you can basically just sell these without even caring. Although this one was confusing, because it... Oh, wait, not this one. Yeah, ma yeah, maybe this one. This one has a name, and it's just default. And where was the one that was worth, like, loads of money? Did I sell it in the end? I might have put it back in storage. Because sometimes it is a little bit like, huh... Um, but for the most part, yeah, I sort of, um, understand that. Right. Okay. It's just like, the relic swords are the hard ones, because sometimes it's like, okay, is this a sword I was given or one I found? And generally, if it's a duplicate, I'll assume it was one I found, because you can find relic swords too, and I don't really care about getting rid of those, unless it's like a special one, like the one in Regis's cave, or, um, I guess the all geared one. Technically a relic. Iris. I wonder what Allgear's sword originally was called, because it was in his family for generations, right? And he didn't know Iris for generations, assumedly. Well, no, I guess... Yeah, no, he wouldn't have known her for generations. I'm just thinking he did live for a long time, but not. I'm talking about, like, his family beforehand. Well, he left, he lived for... Never liked cats. Relatively long time. Okay. This is unique. I like it. Oh, and they got loot. No match for the Manticore armor though, right? Cool. I'm incredibly tempted to jump off, and I think I'm gonna, just to have a little look. I'm gonna make a save in case I realize there's nothing down there and it's gonna take me forever to get back up. Okay, I died. Good job I made a save. I don't think I've ever even tried to go down there. It's very dark. You know, that could easily be water, right? That look, no, that looked like water to me over there, which is why I jumped down. Unless it's just like a different thing. I don't know, that looks like water. I'm gonna try again. Okay, okay, it's not water. Some mushrooms. I gotta go buy some herbs, I think. Or I could try and um, build up Corvo Bianco and go go back to the Witcher herb bit. Can do they do they regrow? Maybe. I don't think I've ever even bothered to go back in the past. I'll have to have a look. Tucson colors guardsman armor. I don't know why I'm checking the armor that I find. It's just completely pointless. I'm pretty. I'm, I get on there now. I just want to check out all these other areas first. Hang on. Oh, what a leap, Geralt. What a leap. Okay, some more unrefined copper. Um, some puffball. Dimeritium. This is good, guys. We're rebuilding the Dimeritium stores. I've got quite a bit today so far, actually. Just from doing this little bit of exploration. Um... Okay, I kind of want to fall down here. It looked fun. Okay, it's getting darker. You know what that means, guys. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so it looks like we have to go left, but obviously I'm going to check out everything first. Okay, what is that? Blood soaked. Grave robber was wounded while attempting the climb. Needed to bandage up. Managed to avoid the panthers, at least. Sounds a good idea. Although I wouldn't recommend jumping off that. It's a pretty horrible situation down there. Oh my god. 
How far down does it go? I'm not going to jump off again. I feel like that's just a bad idea. So they tried to climb. or oh, they did climb to this bit. How did they even get down there? Wait, I'm very confused. Did they climb, like, from the floor up? Or, like, they must have climbed from where they came in and, like, down and across. Like, across this sort of ledge here. Oh, I'm really tempted to give it a go. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I reckon I can make that jump. Oh, <gasps> no way. I am amazing at jumping. Wounded while attempting to climb. What a coward. You don't get wounded. Help me. Okay, I'm fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can understand the wounded while attempting to climb now. I mean, it, it does have a, a seeming kill switch if you try. Oh, we're getting a lot of meteorite stuff. I think this is good. I, I'm assuming we can deconstruct it to get meteorite. Um, ore. Or ingots. Or various meteorite type things. Okay. Oh, diamond team see, there you go. Rebuild the stocks. Oh, a crossbow, hang on. Wow. A literal crossbow. Nothing else. Professor Moreau's diary. Since certain suspicious individuals have begun handing, ha sorry, hanging around my outside my laboratory, I've been forced to implement additional security measures. I suspect they are but common criminals looking for something shiny to steal and have no real interest in my research. But better safe than sorry. Legible fragment. Furthermore, on the advice of an engineer acquaintance of mine, I have decided to secure the premises with a simple mecha mechanical apparatus. In one of the rooms along the route to the laboratory, to the laboratory, I have installed a mechanism for locking and unlocking the doors, which is operated by pressing four protruding stones placed high upon up on the walls. I would say upon the wall. I guess high up on the walls. Yeah, sure. Uh, I can bypass this lock with ease by using a simple spell, but a common thief, thief, thief will be faced uh, faced with a double challenge. First, he must notice these stones and puzzle out their purpose. Then he must find a way to press them. Wonderful. Got a little puzzle here. I'm just going to light this fire. Just cause. Why not? Oh, there is a there is a giant rock here. I like it. Can I climb the giant rock? I can climb the giant rock. I like it. Hmm. I feel like a proper tomb sort of robber. More things. Oh, crap. Didn't yep. I just do this? I hear you, Geralt. <laughs> Put away the torch, Geralt. It's not needed for fighting. Oh, yeah, I'll show you. So, I think you do this, right? Hang on. Oh, wait. I'm pulling it. I clicked the wrong button. Hang on. Is, is this what you do? You, like... I'm being dumb. Hang on. Is it the D-pad? Am I clicking? Yeah, there you go. You do the D-pad. That's what it was. Look, I know what I'm doing. Even if sometimes I forget. You do the D-pad and you can just easily switch. But I prefer just going, oh, because I know exactly what sign I'm going to get then. It's, it's, it's a terrible method, but I've got muscle memory created for it now. So it's fine. Thank you for proving a good tutorial for me there. Okay. Oh, whoops. No, no, I didn't mean that. Hang on. Let me just get rid of that toxicity. Wait, let me just restore my health. It's a good method. Restore health, rest a little bit, you're fine. So, I came up this way. Check for loot. So, there is a rock here. I'm assuming standing on the rock does nothing. Although it looks like it should. I should probably just progress through a bit, shouldn't I? Ah, ah, see that? That's a rock up there. You see those? I have to work out... Sorry, I'm just adjusting the microphone a little bit. Um, I have to... Steal that first. And then I have to work out how to change these rocks. I just kind of want to fire a... Oh! Maybe I'm assuming that's why it gave me a crossbow. Because you need one for this. But first of Not all... Bad. Wouldn't mind having something like that myself. It's right there, Geralt. Go on. Should we should we slide down? No? Okay. Fair enough, Geralt. Makes sense. So, I'm assuming this, right? Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Well, something moved. 
You said there was four, right? Well, we know where two of them are. Although, maybe we don't. Whoever was here must have scaled that wall, evaded the Panthers. A golden casket? I like it. So, let's see. Of course. See. Locked. Hmm. Notes I found mention four protruding stones. Gotta press them somehow. Crossbow, maybe? Could try to hit them. I already said that, girl. Okay, we already worked this out. Am I hitting it? Okay, yeah, I did. Right, that's three. The fourth is up there. It's gotta be there. Oh god, I'm, I'm like terrible aiming. Right, boom. Ah, did it. Yay. Okay. Some more golden nuggets. Anything else to see? Hmm. Interesting as places go. Seems someone put a lot of thought into its design. Should look around. Hmm. Impressive. It's just decoration. Oh, what? Oh! I think... What are gargoyles? They're Elementa. I'm actually going to use oil, guys. Because these guys take forever to kill otherwise. Okay. Interesting. Like that, huh? Oh, we've got a gargoyle pole. Okay. Great. Portals. This just keeps getting better. Uh, I'm assuming I have to use, like, the right portal to get up to the next layer. So, first right Damn takes it. us to... Back where we started. So we're going to try and... Oh, hang on. There's a little box there I almost missed. Nice. See, that's why it let me go back. So let's see. From the gargoyle's paw, first right doesn't work. Right, let's try middle. Damn it. Back where I started. Middle does also... It must be left then, right? Okay, so first floor is left. Let's have a quick run round for looting. Right. How to find the next portal. Yeah. What's this? It's like a different type of stone there. Oh wait, I'm assuming it used to be like a portal. Okay. Which one did I come through? I can't remember at all which one I came through. I'm assuming it's the middle one, so let's see, we'll go left for the middle one. So it was first left, now we're doing next left, takes us Damn back it. to the Wrong start. Again. Could be some clue around here. Oh, is there like a clue of which portal takes you where? Is it... The, the lanterns? Well, I think it's it's left. Then, assumedly, it can't be that left one. So first right. No. Damn it! Back where I started. So we go left. Right. Now right. Now to find the next portal. And then we go all the way right. Portal. Just 
Just let me sort that out real quick. What do you mean there should be some clue around here? Is there like a clue that I'm missing? Maybe? So we got first left, far right. And we got one here, which I can seemingly drop onto. And then one right over there. I want to try this one. Although this is not the one I came through. Ah! Must be where Moreau had his lab. Okay, well we made it. Amazing. Great. Portals. This just oh. keeps getting better. So it's the way the statue's facing. Well, we made it to the lab. Um, let's have a look around. Plenty of loot. I like it. Oh, there's a little bit at least. I'm gonna have a proper look around this place. Oh, there's a wall up there. A megascope. I'll have a look at that in a minute. Greater green mutagen. The so-called giant centipedes or my only comfort in exile. Uh, dearly have I paid for my wrongs being exiled from the beautiful deserts and steeps or steps steps of fear to this hideous green country. Steeps? Step? Steps? Steeps? Steppers? Steps? Steeps? Must be steps. And steps of a fear to this hideous green country, where all the scents and flavors are so intense they make me sick. It fills my heart with sorrow and regret. Oh god. Um... My only comfort seems to be a small colony of Scolopendros, I think, or more scientifically speaking, Scolopendromorphs, um, have referred to, here referred to as giant centipedes living in the vicinity of my hut. These wonderful creatures, the sight of which reminds me of my home, have mostly, have most likely chosen this area to settle in because of the presence of shale mars. Uh, oh yeah, that was the thing from before, right? Or sh Shell Mars. I think it was Shell Mars. Whose droppings constitute the food of small animals, which in turn are consumed by Scolopendros. Uh, uh, consumed by Scolopendros. Sometimes I sneak up on them when they are feeding and admire their hooked limbs, ma man mandibles, so sturdy they seem made of iron, and chitinous thoris thoruses, shiny enough to let one... Uh, to gaze upon one's reflection. Shiny enough to let one to gaze upon one's reflection. God, the wording in some of these notes is insane. Interesting. Was this the Gwent history thing I got? Gwent for... I want to read this quickly. Gwent for many a diverting game of cards, for other a noble pursuit, for some a crippling addiction which devours their every coin and every waking moment. These last can be found most frequently among the dwarves, the game's inventors and most passionate devotees. Their devotion extends to Gwent's paraphernalia, its cards most of all, which they craft with great care and skill. In fact, cards painted by dwarven masters are often considered miniature works of art. In past times, they devoted equal attention to whittling the clubs which contestants once kept at their sides to bash each other about the head with in case of an argument. As brawls grew less common, the clubs became implied um, threats more than used weapons, until eventually falling into disuse and near oblivion. Today, Gwent players can be found almost everywhere, from the Skellige Isles, where the game was introduced by the Druid Ermion, to the Northern Realms and the Nilfgaardian Empire. In Gwent, the play of cards mimics the dueling of two armies. The playing field is divided into two parts, each split into three rows. The nearest to the center stands units who's, who fight at close quarters, behind them archers and other such ranged attackers, and furthest back machines and creatures used for siege purposes. Both players wield decks made up of a minimum of 22 cards and a maximum of 10 special cards, and each must also contain a leader card. The player who wins the toss of a coin, originally the dwarf whose wife has the longest beard, plays first. Each player draws uh, random 10 cards from his deck and then is allowed to redraw two of these before the laying of cards begins. Each round is won by the player who has played cards of the greatest value. 
The first to achieve two victorious rounds wins, meaning a maximum of three rounds are played. The winner's prize is agreed upon by the winners by the players before each match. Most often, the wager is a bounty of coin or a rare card. The heart of the player's armies, the unit's cards come in three types. Close combat units, range units, siege units. Each such card is assigned with a strength rating and may additionally possess special abilities. Um, there are also there are also special cards which have no strength rating but instead influence the course of the game in other ways. Unit cards depicting famed heroes not only have unusual high strength ratings but also have added benefits of ignoring the workings of all special cards. These are the rarest and most coveted of Gwent cards. Most frequently, they must be won from top players or purchased at a great price from collectors. The cards in Classic Gwent are divided into four factions: the Northern Realms leader Foltest, the Nilfgaardian Empire leader Emirvar Emres, monsters leader Eredin Brak Glass. The Scoia'tael leader, Francesca Finderbear. Nice. Well, that was a good read. <laughs> Pretty much just explained Gwen. Um, interesting, though. Quite the library. Mostly tomes on mutations and genetics. Which mutations and introduction to research? Before embarking on any consideration of the mutations undergone by witches, let alone researching them, one should be aware of the specific physiology and biochemistry of these individuals. Um, the transformations they experience during the trial of the grasses, which are widely considered to be irreversible, cause witches to become infertile, which significantly, uh, while significantly increasing their physical strength and sharpening their senses, the process also deprives witches of emotion and human reflexes. Um, Although information about the trial of the grasses and other transformations to which young adepts of the witcher craft are subjected is strictly protected by master witches and witcher sorcerers, uh, Ludovic Celestine of, ba ba of Banard even of Banard claims the albumen of grey scolopendromorphs, scolopendromorphs, oh, that was something we read about just then, um, the strain of giant centipede, more commonly known as pale widows, constituted the basis of which are mutagens. However, all research confirming this theory has been lost. Interesting, huh? Okay, I don't want to be taking things yet. I'm concerned about what it might lead to. Preserved organs. Hope their donors weren't forced to give them up. We can only hope, Geralt. What's this we can loot here? Did I just break something? Oh no, I knocked a pot over. Go over there, pot. A megascope crystal. Intriguing as machinery goes, but how do I start it up? Oh. An Iron Maiden looking thing. Guessing this man didn't come here willingly. Looks very similar to Kian. Okay. Multiple megascope crystals have been found. Right, let's have a look at this then. What's this? Crystals. Should mount them in the megascope. Missing two crystals. Just need to pick an entry. Oh. The 18th of Yule, year 1102. Today I begin my great life's endeavor, one greater and more significant than any I have thus far undertaken, for it relates to me personally, to myself and my son. When fifteen years passed, a beast of the forest assaulted me. A witcher came to my aid, saved my life. I could not know that for said salvation, I would in the end pay by relinquishing any say as to my own son's fate. Had I the skill to turn back time, I would have done so, and perished rather than surrender to the witchers, my only son. But as it was, on the day when Jerome was taken, I swore an oath on my honor that I would recover my son. Today, following years of research and preparation, I have at last devised a device that allows me to study mutations. 
If the gods in their goodness grant me but a bit of favor, I shall find a way to reverse said mutations and restore Jerome to a normal life. So, Professor wasn't out to enhance Witcher mutations, wanted to reverse them. Wonder if he managed, and if there's anything in it for me. Hmm. Okay, second entry. Observation 22. Despite applying a surfeit of toxic substances, significantly more than usual, the subject displayed no symptoms of overdosing. I believe this to be an effect of the mutations. Thus, a minor success. This mutation should allow Jerome better to tolerate toxicity. Oh, a toxicity mutation, eh? Okay, right, third entry. Observation number 30. The mutations do not set in at once. Curiously, they do not develop over a span of time. Rather, for a mutation to progress towards completion, the appropriate mutagen must be applied continuously. The subject does not bear this well, but I found a way to make the mutations less taxing, invasive. To the mutagen base, I add the albumin of a mutated giant centipede egg. Stored in the Glasterarium, the eggs do not develop, remain small. The eggs themselves are a sight to behold. Mutated they are, Luminescent, emitting a wondrous glow. I can only hope my addition of the albumen will produce no significant side effects. Time will tell. Okay, right, fourth entry. Observation 58. Sometimes failure is the catalyst for success. I've discovered a method by which one type of mutagen may be transmuted into another through the addition of certain ingredients. This is a great day for science. In addition, I observed that today's dose of mutagens brought the subject to the brink of death. He then suddenly awoke, revived, his strength renewed. Not wholly, of course, but he did, in a sense, come back from the edge of death. Whether this is attributable to his mutations or to pure coincidence cannot be ascertained. I must conduct further experiments. Okay. Right, fifth entry. Years of experiments, research, sacrifice, all for naught. I have failed to achieve my defined objective. Each mutation I applied to my subjects proved ineffective when applied to Jerome. What I meant to cure him of his witcherism, that which I meant to restore to him a normal life, only deepened his mutations further augmented his speed and strength, rendered him yet more inhuman. It seems my son must remain a witcher forever. I have failed. The time has come to abandon this place. Return home to Lydia. She may yet deign to take me back. The contraption and mutagens I leave here let them wither and crumble. As did my dreams of regaining my son. Hmm. So the professor wanted to reverse the mutation's effects. Ended up deepening them. Stroke of luck for me. Could profit from his failure. Okay. Yeah, let's summarize. Good idea, Geralt. So, 
Professor tried to neutralize the effects of Witcher mutations. Only managed to enhance them, though. Used the albumens of giant centipede eggs as his mutagen base. Need to go on an egg hunt. Hmm, sounds like a good plan, Geralt. There's gotta be other things around here, right? I love the little crystals on the, uh, the pillow. <laughs> Okay. I'm just gonna look around Bruno a bit. Must have kept his son in here. Grim. Oh Christ. Hmm. I'll try and I'll, I'm not gonna mess around with that at the moment because I'm concerned. But we'll we'll have a look in a moment. Let's have a look around here first. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can like activate this, but I'll go and get the uh, the centipede stuff first. I don't want to mess with that at the moment. Um. Okay, so we'll just go through here. Oh, okay. I see something. Mm -hmm. I was awake, and she's not in a good mood. Oh, you know what, actually? I think what we do is this, right? This could be a good opportunity to use the, uh... hits me, isn't it? Because all this is restore health. God, this potion's insane. Oh. God damn it. I gotta get around the other way. Oh. Right, got one. Okay. It's actually fine if this hits me, right? Oh. Yeah, fire is not worth doing if they can just go underground again. It doesn't matter. It doesn't do anything. Okay. Okay, I got poisoning, I think. It, it, it honestly doesn't matter if that hits me. Okay. Sorry. Need your eggs. True. We do need them. Let's see if there's anything else around here. Oh. Oh god, more of them? I think if I just get one in the ear, then I can probably clear these pretty quickly. Okay. Ow. 
Fucking god damn it. Okay, that was so annoying. I was actually kind of triggered after that one. Eggs? Is that eggs I see? Alright, I'll take that. Take that. I'll take that. I want all of them. I want all those eggs. Okay. Ah, and this is the wall I saw before. Boop. Um, right, okay. Place the mutated giant centipede al albumen in Professor Moreau's contraption to start the machinery. Well, we'll make a save before we do that, but, um, sure. Do I put it in behind? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's do it. Okay. You ready for this, Geralt? We're taking some weird steps here now. Um, we'll have a quick meditating because, you know, toxicity and stuff. Intriguing as machinery goes, but how do I start it up? We know how. No point going in wearing full gear. Gotta drop my armor, leave my weapons. Okay. Let's get everything off then. Nice. Professor's mutagens might work on me as they did on his son. Well, time to find out. Mutations! You've unlocked the mutation system. Mutations let you gain your capabilities, increasing your advantage over normal men and giving you an added strength in killing monsters. To learn more, open the character panel. Oh. Okay. Should we should we have a look? Um character panel, right? Aha. Uh, press Y to open the mutations panel. Okay, we're just gonna press it. Okay. To use mutations, first you must research them. To do this, choose one of the available mutations. Strength synapsis. Uh, improved by researching mutations, okay. Toxic... So, all right, we have this. We have... For mutation research to finish successfully, you must devote the required amount of ability points and mutagens to it. So, so we have... Okay. Uh, choose one of the advanced mutations. Uh, when drawn, magic, unique, and wit- wait, when drawn, magic, unique, and witcher swords increase sign damage dealt by 50% of their own damage dealt. Wow, okay. That's pretty good. Second life, when vitality reaches zero, you become temporarily invulnerable and regenerate 100% vitality. This effect can only be triggered once every 180 seconds. That's pretty good. Applying critical effects to opponents activates a random decoction for 120 seconds with no toxicity cost. The maximum number of decoctions that can be activated simultaneously by the mutation is three, which senses help you see better in dark places. Each adrenaline point decreases uh, damage received by 50%, up to a maximum of 40, 50, uh, 45, whatever. I mean, just all of these are pretty good. Each fatal blow dealt by a sword dismembers the enemy or activates a finisher. Each blow dealt by every single blo fatal blow. At the start of combat, sword power and sign density increase for 30 seconds by 30% for each foe, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Piercing cold. When Ard is cast, additionally, it additionally has a 25% chance to freeze opponents. 
knocking uh, opponents knocked down and frozen simultaneously die immediately. Opponents who are not frozen. <laughs> oh my god, that sounds incredible. I'm gonna go for that 100%. Should I just go for that straight away? Honestly, I could, I could, I can do all of these. <laughs> I, I guess I could go for more ability points at some point, but I can do all of them. Research. Okay, so I have to like choose which one I activate. I get it. Only one mutation can be active at any given time. So at the moment I have signs can deal critical hits. Their critical hit chance and damage increases with sign intensity. So yeah, that, that's if I have good sign intensity. The strength synapses mutation improves automatically when you develop other mutations as it does in locks additional ability slots. Okay, to see what the current mutation is currently active, open the mutation panel or the character panel. The strength synapses mutation improves automatically when you develop other mutations as it does, it unlocks ability slots. Right, okay. Oh, so like for, for more of these. Should I just put a few things into this? I kind of want to get the odd thing, that sounds amazing. This requires five ability points. Is there, a, maybe I should try and like refund a bunch of ability points that I've spent needlessly. That could be the strat actually. Because I, I have spent a lot. I'm kind of happy with this being activated for now. We'll have to delve into this more next time. Oh, okay. Thanks to the strength and synapses or synapses, whatever. Mutation, you have an extra ability at your disposal. The color of the ability you activate in the extra slot must match the color of the active mutation. Advanced mutations, distinguished by their yellow color, require multiple types of mutagens, but allow you to use any abilities from the combat, science, or alchemy. Oh, I see. So if I use one of these advanced ones, I can basically use any ability there. When drawn, magic. Ma when drawn, magic, unique, and witcher swords increase. That's pretty good, actually. I'm kind of just happy trying out this one. To be honest, I like the sign stuff. We have alternate Quen, Igni, and oh, we should use the Ard sweep with the freeze. Okay. Thanks, Moreau. Got some cool stuff there. Um, let's make sure we put on the right witcher gear. You can guess which one's the Manticore, can't you? Um, I'm going to assume Manticore Steel... Is this Viper? Yeah, it is. This is Manticore, right? No? Okay, this is Manticore. Right, okay. And then we need to put back on our crossbow. Although I do have two now. One is worse. Um, okay, I think I got everything back on. Honestly, I should be going for like a potion build if I'm doing Manticore armor, but I don't ever really go for builds. So I'm assuming I can just uh, use Ard on this, right? Hmm. A power cell for portals. Feels dead. Maybe a sign will revive it. Yeah, we'll use it to try hard. <laughs> oh my god. What? Holy crap. Okay, we're gonna go try this out on this drowners. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're trying this one out on the drowners, guys. <laughs> Where are those drowners from before? Where are they? Ah, oh, there they are. Hey, drowners. I have returned from my adventures in the laboratory. Hmm. So, I just want just to walk over to them. I'm going to play it really casual, guys. Super casual. Hey, drowners. It's me, Geralt. I'm just going to walk here and uh, see what's going on with you guys. You know, I heard you guys are having some fun time over here. Just rolling around, you know, having fun. Yeah, look at them. They're having a little run around. That's weird, huh? Uh, that's dash. Oh, hey, why are you attacking me? You know, I wouldn't do that. Because boom! Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, my God! Oh. 
Although, do we not get to loot them if we kill them like that? Holy crap. Okay, well that was incredible. I, I absolutely love this art. Oh my god, look at it. I just had to meditate. I was, um, I just want to make sure, you know? I also like it when it- look how bright it is! It looks amazing! Okay, well, I am pretty sure there is some sort of monster over there, and as much as I'd love to go and just, you know, sh give him some of that, I'm kind of concerned that it's going to be like a marker or something, and I'm trying to avoid markers at the moment because, uh, everyone I seem to go to when I've sort of had to, <laughs> like, I've gone there and I've been like, oh, whoops, and then I've just had to leave. Um, it seems to be related to some sort of quest that I haven't picked up yet. So my current plan is that the next quest I want to do, I'm really tempted to do this, but the quest I'm going to do first, so before that one, is I'm going to do this because it's such a low level quest and I just want to get out of the way. Um, and then I want to finish on La Kejao 4. I mean, we'll see how much we can get done, but I want to do at least those two and then more. Um, what I'd also like to do is go to every signboard and just get all the, uh, on notice board even, and just get all the quests just so I can like hopefully work out what <laughs> what what I'm allowed to go to. Um, I'd also like to try and work out, I mean, not today, but I need to do, uh, I need to make this one like a priority, uh, wherever it is. The the one that like, you know, you, you get a bunch, oh god, I can't see it now. Which one is it? This one, Night for Hire. I need to do that as well. Right, okay, so we're gonna start with the Warble of a Smitten Knight because it is like level 35. So I'm gonna go to the closest signboard and just make my way there. So this looks like the closest signboard. You know what? If I find anything on the way that isn't a, a marker, I'm gonna try out my art on it again because this is incredible. Yeah, there are definitely balls over there. I, I'm really tempted to go and use the art, but you know, I, I've got to save it. i got to save it for um, for actual combat. I can't be wasting too much time. I spend so much time just like running off and doing stuff, although it is a lot of fun. But I, you know, it'll get old, you know, I just, it, well, it never will. This this is never going to get old, ever, but I've, I'll save it for um, different enemies. Right. Okay. Let's go do this then. The Warble of the, the Smitten Knight. Is that how you say it? I don't even know. I could get my beard cut. That could be a thing. Haven't had a beard cut in a while. Although I quite like the full sort of luscious beards. And and you know, may, maybe I'll leave it for now. I like it. I mean, we could get, we could get a shortcut, I guess. Uh, may, maybe just for for this quest. You know what? No, we'll go and see Gi... How do you say his name again? Gi... 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 Gilamer. I, I hate. I don't know how to say his name. It's too hard. Ah, oh, look at Tussar. I, I can't. Just Wizard, look at it. I have a matter of prime urgency and import. I must speak to you. Oh yeah. I wonder if he knows about that guy dying to Beast of Beauclair. Your wound. Feeling better? It's healing splendidly, though I am to avoid trouble for some time. To be frank, that is precisely why I wish to speak with you. Want me to stand in for you? Take on some trouble on your behalf? That could very well be the case. You see, there is a maiden, nay, a lady. I suspect someone's cast an ill spell upon her. A curse, perhaps. But I can guess her symptoms. She cursed? What makes she think so? Well, this first. Let me guess. She suddenly grew cold, haughty, and distant, though the night before she was flirtatious and alluring. Tut tut, Witcher. You jest, yet the matter is grave. Though true, the lady in question is dear to my heart. I shall not deny it. I fear she has fallen victim to ill magic, and knows no one she could turn to for help. Ah, oh, well, that's why we're here. What makes you think she might be cursed? You must keep all I say to yourself, I beg you. I would never dare to be so indiscreet normally, yet I'm troubled about her, for her. Vivian shuns the company of others. Though the fairest maid at court, she keeps men at a distance. I thus determined I would resort to trickery. Trickery? That even befitting of a knight? In war, yes. And what is love if not battle? As it were, one evening I crouched in hiding outside her seamstress's home. As Vivian emerged from it, I too emerged, ever so gently but convincingly collided with her, then promptly offered to escort her home. She consented, 
At first, all argued well. I proposed a more scenic route. She agreed. I made kindly forays into conversation, and she even began to respond as we neared the end of our route. Then suddenly... Then suddenly, mid-speech, from her mouth there flew a most hideous shriek. I stopped Stone Colt in my tracks while she turned red, then promptly ran off. I did not give chase that time. I attempted to approach her on several ensuing occasions, to learn what had happened, for I feared she had become entangled in some trouble. I noted that often come night, she ventures into the woods, where I've seen her walk about a glade near a pool. I've striven on occasion to follow her, but lost track each time. It seemed then she'd melted into the air. Hmm. Anything else you can tell me about her? Sound uh, might have not been as strange as you remember. Notice anything else unusual? Sound you heard. She might have just had a sore throat. Had I thought it possible the sound was natural, I never would have taken up your precious time. Okay. Notice any other strange behavior? Additional symptoms? No, Vivian's avoided me wholly since the first encounter. But folk gossip. What about? They say she's secretive, that no one ever sees her after dusk, that she's wanted to suddenly disappear. Nothing unusual about any of that. Okay, anything else you can tell me about her? Tell me more about Vivian. Who is she? What's her story? She's her enlightened highness's lady in waiting. Her mother was a lady in waiting, her father a knight. That is all I've learnt, for the Duquesa grows angry when asked about her. Vivian spends her days within the palace walls. Yet we are in luck, for she has been named the Tourney's Patroness this year. Thus, each participant will be granted an audience with her. Got a problem then. See, I'm not a participant. I've devised a solution already. You should take my place in the lists and thus gain the chance to speak to her. I was looking forward to winning the tourney, very much so. Yet for Vivian, I am prepared to sacrifice anything. <laughs> okay, we'll do that in a second, right? Hang on. This tourney, how's it work exactly? It is the year's grandest and most important contest. Knights from all corners come to face off for the grand prize, and more importantly, for glory. A demanding test of knightly prowess in horsemanship, marksmanship, and fencing. I qualified for the first time, had great hopes of winning. Yet... Yeah, I get it. Anything for Vivian. I mean, he's also injured, right? Although he seems relatively... I guess, you know, he can move and talk, but I don't know about all the tawny activities. Right, yeah, reward, let's go. Hardly a regular job, this. Not often I gotta take part in a tourney to fulfill a contract. V can't be anything ordinary either. I'm no magnet to command heaps of coin, but naturally, I shall award you a just amount. How much do you demand? Oh! Oh! Oh, this is a lot of money! This is a big contract! Oh! Okay. Right, let's go for the, the prime number here. I have comrades I can ask. They would surely lend me coin, yet even that would not be enough. Could you not lower your fee somewhat? Fine, fine. Although that would have been great. How about that? Agreed. That is an amount I can indeed muster. 650 crowns? Okay, I'll take part in the tourney that I wanted to do any- I mean, that the, I have to do for this contract? God damn it. Right. Fine, I'll look into it. Gotta admit, piqued my curiosity. I shall be forever in your debt. Now, we must ensure you are not eliminated from the tourney before you can meet Vivian. Meaning? Could you show me how you shoot, ride and fight, perchance? And you must learn the tourney rules, know how to apply them in practice. I, I did not mean to suggest I doubt your abilities. Everyone must train, even a witcher. Besides, the tourney contests must surely differ, require skills you don't usually apply, races above all. The choice is yours. Where shall we start? Oh, uh, don't need any practice, don't need to train. 
I mean, nah, I've got to, I've got to do the practice. But um, um, I'm, you know, if I'm doing a tourney, I almost feel tempted to put on the Griffin armor, you know, like the knightly armor. But uh, I don't know. I'd have to go and make the Grandmaster set and then get it all. Oh, oh, oh. That take me like such a long time. No, I'll, I'll leave that. I'll leave that. I can always put it on for other things later on. I'll, I'll, I'll prioritize making that. I guess that is kind of a follow up to turn and face the straight, the strange, the quest we have. Oh god, I just, I just realized why they called it that quest. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm, I'm kind of not. I'm, I am listening to this quest. Obviously, it's just kind of led into a tangent here. But you know, you know the song. I'm not going to sing it because I don't want to. But turn and face the strange and then the next line is like changing and then the quest is about mutations and getting extra mutations surely that's what they mean okay i don't know that's incredible right marksmanship feel i need to do some shooting come with me the marksmanship contest shall pit you against another for the best time and score he who hits all his targets first wins Hope my aim's as good as that Cupid's who shot you. Sometimes when you speak, I miss the meaning entirely. Leviotos wheezing lungs. A real itch. Hey. Hit the red targets. Easy. Uh. Oh. Once more? You know what? Why not? That's right. Once more? Uh, that, that's enough. <laughs> Done enough shooting. Where to now? If you wish to know my thoughts, were I you, I would train on the race course ahead of all else. Um... I'd like to do all of it, but I guess we'll do that next. Let's do some riding. Roach will like that. Excellent idea! Come with me. Okay, in fact... <laughs> I know I shouldn't, but... <laughs> the tourney's <laughs> race differs from others you might have taken part in. You shall not ride against any opponent. How's it a race at all, then? It's a race against time. The true track begins in the arena, runs round the tourney grounds, then finishes again in the arena. The training track, however, lies beyond the arena. We shall go there now. Okay. Sounds good. Gjelm. Gjelm. Gjelm, I think. I don't like saying his name. I've said this many times, but I still... I. Oh! Hello, squire. At your service, master. Ah, see? We got we even have a squire now. Okay, well we're 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 somewhere. Somewhere very cool. God, it just uh, the reason I'm so quiet is because I just I'm looking at Tucson the whole time. I'm just like, look at this place. I get when I get these views of oh look at that. I should narrate my my inner monologue. All is ready. Now listen, for it can be quite a challenge. Along your route stand dummies and targets. The dummies you may cut with your blade. The targets you must hit from your crossbow. The time you have to complete the course shall increase each time you land a strike, be it with blade or bolt. It may sound simple enough, yet I've seen many a knight fail this contest and hang his head in shame. During the race proper, judges throughout the course shall tally your points, for now you may ride unperturbed by those matters. So, okay. Oh, I know how to do mounted combat. So, I get points by hitting the things? Oh, it's gonna be so it, hard Roach. to like... Okay. That's Faster. one. Oh, it's so hard to like, see what I have to hit. 
go, go. Okay, well, I got one thing. Okay, there's another one. Are, are there not ones that I have to, like, shoot? Oh, I see one, I see one. Oh, I did it, I did it, I did it. I thought, I totally thought I missed. Did I miss a checkpoint? Wait, hang on, am I missing stuff? I'm like... I'm not paying attention. I, 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 I can see a mark down there for some reason. Hang on, I gotta see what this is. I gotta see what this is. Hang on. What is this? Did I miss something? Slower. Will you give it another go? Yeah, yeah, I'll give it another go. Hang on. No harm in going again. Practice makes perfect, even for witchers. Okay, I actually hit it, but it didn't break. Which is interesting. <laughs> that was very close. So, have you had enough, or do you wish to ride again? Right, I'm doing it one more time. No harm in going again. Yeah, look, we're practicing one more time, because I, I messed up that massively, and I don't want to bottle it in the actual thing. Right. Right, what we're going to do is when we get closer, we're just going to slow down a bit, and then we're going to... Okay, hang on. Right, I'm bottling it now. I did so well the first time. Right, okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. Right. Right, let's go again. We got this. We got this. This is this is this little guy here. Maui combat is so tough because you... Duh! Because, because it just it's so, like, awkward to control. Right, we got it. We got it. We got it. It's fine. Look, it's 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 annoying, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It's fine. Right, we're gonna get a crossbow hit on this, and this is just a practice one. Imagine how hard the actual thing is gonna be. I'm honestly tempted just to give this like a few more runs. We just skip it. <laughs> Look, just because I will probably be able to do it. Don't get me wrong. I just want to have like a perfect run, you know. Like I did that pretty well. Will you give it another go? I can set out more dummies. You know what? I've had enough. Had enough. Rather not wear my horse down before the real race. Where to now? Okay, I guess, yeah, sure, combat training. Be nice to swing, do some footwork, work up a sweat. Very well. We shall practice infantry combat one-on-one. -on -one. Each knight opts for his own method. Rainfarn, for instance, fights halberd in hand. Come with me. Okay. A halberd, huh? You will team with other knights to fight. The clash simulates a true skirmish during battle. Come the end, you shall fight a duel. It will determine your place on the podium. I always liked the duels the best, but now I can think only of my Vivian. In the end, it is good you will replace me. I sense I would simply be distracted this time. Possibly. You know, you seem very distracted. You can always enter next year, Gu Guillaume. Right, okay, Guillaume, let's carry on. Best team. Oh, Toussaint's just amazing. Stand at the center of the training ground. A knight will approach and challenge you. Okay. How do these duels work? I kind of want to see what they do first. Is it just literally I beat them up? Or, or is it... Oh! Hey, I'm not going yet. Oh, I just... I literally just have to... Okay. You wish to spar? Why not? Avatra. <gasps> I, I think I literally just have to fight them. Oh, this is the best one. Imagine if I had the signs on my uh, sword for this. Do you wish to practice fighting a moment longer? Uh, yeah, I'll have one more. Could probably use some more practice. Usually fight monsters, not knights. 
Ah, uh, we, we fought plenty of knights, Geralt. I'm just curious if I get to, to fight someone else. Why not? No, it's just Archer guy. Sure. Come on, then. We fought plenty of fallen knights, you know? I mean, if anything, this guy's a hundred times easier. Thing is, if I if he does hit me, I think he'll do a lot of damage. Amazing. I expected you to do well, but not that well. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's enough. Think I've seen enough. Sorry to be blunt, but the simplest Witcher contract demands more skill than this kind of combat. Now you must go to the inscription tent. Honor and glory are all true and good, but your scrolls must be in order. Yeah, that was that was. I thought that was particularly easy combat. Like you literally did nothing. I mean, it sounded all awful, but yeah, I guess we've been weathered by our times. Sir Milton. Oh, Milton de Payrak Payrak. I'm sorry, Milton. You were a good friend, sort of. See, the thing about Tucson is I feel like it is an awesome place, and I love it. But it, it's it's only made more sort of awesome by the fact that the, the base game is, um, you know, a little bit more dreary and, and sort of war-torn. You know, this place is just completely clean in regards to that. Oh, so he's gone back to his tent. He's not even going back to the medical tent. I guess he is sort of fine now. Oh, yeah, we already read that. Greetings, Geralt. Hello, I'm gonna go sign up now. I'll make a save, I think, before I sign up, just in case. Although I think I I'm gonna uh, uh, I'll explain. I'll explain. Oh, I have other things to explain, unless I have already explained. I can't remember. Um, tell you what, I'll do that now, just before I go in. Okay, so I'm just gonna briefly. I'm not gonna. No spoilers. Don't worry if if because I realize what I'm about to say might just scare some of you massively, but. I'm not going to be spoiling it, but in regards to my ending for Blood and Wine, I've been debating over it for the past few, um, well, since I, I don't know, since I started The Witcher 1. What I'd like to do, because both endings in, uh, there's, there's technically like three endings, whatever, or more, you know, the, the, wait, how many are there? There's, there's that one, there is, there's, there's three endings, but there's different ways you can get to them, it's confusing, whatever. So basically, there are two routes, for the most part, that show you two different things. I'm, I'm not gonna like, I'm not giving away too much here. This is not spoilery at all really if you if you haven't played the game before. You're just, you're just hearing like, because I'm, I'm using vague ter game terms. Um, and I kind of want to show you guys both routes because they're so awesome. And I'm like, okay, what I can do maybe, I, I just thought I'd explain this now before I do this quest actually, is I can show you the route I'm not gonna do. So be like, okay, when we get to that point in the game. Okay, this is... The, I'm going to start with the route I'm not going to do, and then after I finish that route, I go and show you... Oh, I just knocked my mic. I, I'll go and show you the route I'm actually going to do. Alternatively, I could just straight up play it, do the route I'm actually going to do, not show you the other route, and then um, maybe do like a Roach's Path thing in the future um, or something like that, and uh, then do that route down the line. But I'd like to show you both of them in this playthrough because I think they're both very, very cool. Um, one alternative was to basically do a like an alternate Witcher part that isn't part of the main series where I just show you that particular thing just because it's so cool. But we'll see. Maybe I could just stick both of them in the same part. I just I don't know how I'm going to structure it. Um, alternatively, I could like I don't know. I just want to play. I just want to play both routes because they're so amazing. Uh, and if you understand, you'll understand what I mean if you play the game. If you haven't, don't worry. Um, don't look up anything. I haven't spoiled anything, so it's fine. Right, let's carry on. I just have to get out of the way. So we have Palmerin, Taylors, Anseis, Donimir, Rainfan, Horn, Guy, Linois, Delwyn. I'm assuming they're the participants. Someone walked into me. I was reading the signboard. What happened to your head? Um, age, mutations. What happened to your manners? That's right. You tell him. I didn't even make a save then. I was confused. Okay. Right. There you go. Um, right. We're going to talk to this scribe. 
Although I would like to loot all of his letters. Note from the Tawny Scribe. Hang on. The International Knights Tawny under the patronage of Lady Vivienne de Tebris, 1275. Participants registered and qualified to take part in the contest. Gregore de Gordon, or Gregore de Gordon, winner of last year's Tawny. He shall not participate in the general competition, but shall fight in the final bout against the knight who earns the most points. All signs seems to indicate Gregore will defend his title. All, all signs even. Okay, I'm assuming he's... Okay. And Sace, Prince of Lyria and Rivia, joining us for the third time in a row. Horm Acker, Acker Spark, Prince of Me Me Mecht. How do you say that again? I, oh, I can never say it. It's like Me Mecht or Mecht. Okay, I hate it. Rumored to be uh, one of the Emperor Emir's blood. One of the Emperor Emir's blood here for the four, his fourth twenty. Oh, that's the guy who thought he was like a brother or something, maybe. Baron Palmerin de Lanfall, his sixth time in the tourney. Uh, Donimir of Troy, a Redanian knight, his first time in the tourney. Rainfarn of Atra, for the seventh time in the tourney. Victor of the 1269 edition. Guy de Bois Fre 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 Frenes of Metina, a second cousin of Reinhardt de Bois. Oh! Fresnes, one of her grace's knights errant. Third time at the toy. Isn't that... God. It is, isn't it? Guy de Bois Fresnes of Metina. He's the cousin of the guy Geralt was friends with in the books. The, the knight. I mean, um... Obviously, quite a few of the characters in the um, Blood and Wine expansion. I was going to say, I was going to say DLC. I guess it's both um, appear in the books. I think Milton does. Uh, on a, I'm not going to go over everyone that appears in the books in Tucson, but obviously there's a few other ones. Regis being the main one. Um, but um, no, Reinhardt was like Geralt's uh, knight friend in the books. Basically, I don't want to like discuss everything about Reinhardt now. But if you want to know more about him, maybe I'll talk about him in the future. Probably will. Um, third time of the tourney. Delwyn of Kregiao, Cre maybe, a young knight in the tourney for the first time. Tailors of Dorna, Dorndal, a knight of the Order of the Flaming Rose, first time in the tourney. Illinois of, is it Illinois or Illinois or something like that? Illinois or something like that of Metina, third time in the tourney. Guillaume de Lanfal, Baron Palmerin's nephew, first time in the tourney, later... Aldendum due to injury. Guillaume was tr has transferred his place in the tourney to another knight. And that is us. Although we're not... Well, technically, we are sort of a, a knight, right? Yes. I think. Maybe. Yeah. I think we are. God. Okay. Amazing. Anything else in here to take? Test flows in the veins of Good two songs. Good day. That's no, not false. God, you know, I, I need to go to, like, southern Thran France and, like, I don't know, film it or something. <laughs> just just to, like, look around and be like, look at that. That reminds me of that place in Toussaint. Okay, right, scribe. Greetings. Want to join the lists? Naturally. We must first see to formalities, however. At Guillaume's request, I have looked into your personal history in its heraldic aspects. Really? What did you come up with? My findings show you may take part as Geralt of Rivia. What a surprise. Or as the Honorable Ravix of Vorhorn. It's not every year we have a combatant who can boast of two crests. Which do you prefer? Um... What did you learn about Geralt? So, Ravix of Fourhorn, I am pretty sure is the name Geralt went by during the whole Parvetta thing. When when he went there and he had to have, like, a fake name. I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's, that's where that's from, right? So, that's kind of funny. It might be quite fun to pick that one. But, uh, yeah, I think it is from that, right? I, th I think it was. That's, that's what Geralt used back then. Although he's technically, by Queen Meave, Geralt of Rivia, you know? T technically. I mean, he was that, obviously, before then, but, like, knighted in a sense. Yeah. It's quite interesting. So, yeah, he does technically have two titles, although I'd say only one is really official. Right. Okay. Ravix of Forhorn? How'd you manage to dig that up? Here in Toussaint, we treat heraldry very seriously. 
One visit to the Ducal Archives. That is all I needed to acquire the necessary information. Ravix of Forhorn was the name under which you attended a feast honoring Princess Pavetta, daughter of Queen Calanthe of Sintra, on the occasion of her 15th birthday. That's actually right. God. Geralt must just be like, um, <laughs> what the hell? Okay, um, what did you learn about Geralt of Rivia? Kinda curious what you could have learned about Geralt of Rivia. In the year 1267, a certain Geralt, a member of the Witches' Guild, was knighted by Queen Meave and dubbed Geralt of Rivia. This was in honor of his distinguished service at the Battle of the Bridge, said structure spanning the Yaruga, but I wager you know of which battle I speak. Hmm. Yeah. Those were the days. Kahir and I led a fistful of Nordlings against an entire Nilfgaardian battalion. Won that battle just because we absolutely had to cross the river. Yeah. God. Long time ago now for Geralt. Oh, and... I see I used to always say K here. I would always pronounce it K here and I did it for years And then when I when I when I um, I think I, I did something involving it And I used the pronunciation and I got so many like th think people saying um, you're saying his name wrong Why are you say I was just like what and then uh, and then I started saying it in the Nilf Guardian pronunciation Which is Kah here and um, I've sort of just been sticking with that. It's the same with I say Emir instead of Amir um and like instead of Va Emris, I say Va Emres because I do all the like those pronunciations now, and it's kind of stuck in my head. But um, but I think both are fine. No, um, no, just something I I just jogged a memory then. That, uh, weird. Geralt had a memory jogged. I had a memory jogged. Okay. Uh, I'll be Sir Ravix of Fourhorn, but just for the tawny. I'm gonna join as Geralt of Rivia. I think I love the Geralt of Rivia armor too, and I think that that's that's such a cool moment in the books. That is such a cool moment in the books. I think it's like. It's when I'd say Geralt and uh, Kahir, Kahir um, bonded. I don't know. I'd say I'd say it's when they properly like bonded. Prop like they were kind of. It's, I don't know. It was a. It was a. I don't want to. You know. I'm not going to ruin anything. That's what I'm not going to ruin anything. I feel like I'm not going to discuss it too much, because you might not have read the books. And if you want to pick them up, you love them. I'm Geralt. Not about to fight under a false name. You may now take the shield bearing your crest. I'm a witcher. Shields aren't something witchers ever use in combat. Who mentioned using it in combat? Not I. The shield commemorates your participation in the tourney. You may take it as a souvenir. Hmm. In that case, thanks. Have you been instructed as to the tourney's challenges, prizes, and vows? If not, I do hope you will allow me to tell you about them. Uh, sure. Just, no, give, me a, give me a rundown. Guillaume told me a bit about the contests. Rather make sure I'm clear on them, though. An admirable thirst for knowledge. There are contests three. A shooting range, where you will compete side by side with an opponent. A horse race, during which you will seek to complete the course within a specified time. Any targets hit with bolts or dummies felt with blade will increase the time you have. Finally, the group melee in the arena. Crowned with a duel against last year's champion. As each contest ends, its results will be posted on the board outside my tent. This way, all will be apprised of who leads at any given moment. Convenient. Yeah, very convenient. Okay, I'd like to learn more about the prizes. Yeah, like, what, what are we actually going to get then? Good, good points. I like them. Gonna come right out with it. I'm a sucker for prizes. The winner of each contest shall receive a trophy. Whoever has the best result once all contests have played out shall face last year's champion in a final duel for glory and the title. Should you defeat the reigning champion, the grand prize will be yours. This year, a sword Forged especially for this occasion by the one and only Cornelius of Asengard, a famed master weaponsmith. 
Her illustrious highness had it brought all the way from Nazaire. Right, okay. So we get like an amazing sword. Or at least, um, you know, well, we get a, a unique sword, which is always fun. Right, vows, you know, l l what's all that about? You say something about vows? As is our custom, knights make vows to which they hold for the duration of the tourney. Each swears on something which to him represents his most cherished virtue. Um... Okay, I think I, I think I do know all that I need to. I, I think I do. I think I got it. Feels like I know everything I'd ever want to know about chivalric tourneys. Splendid. In that case, you must make your vow. Upon what would you like to swear it? I swear on the heron. I swear on the lady's love. On her illustrious highness's garter. Rather not make any vow. Um. So my, should we swear on Yen's love? Should we do? Should we? We'll dedicate this to Yen. Why not? We'll do it. I vow on the love of my lady, Yennefer of Vengerberg, to respect the chivalric virtues. May the gods succor you in your endeavors to overcome. A sign here, please, then fill out these forms. That is all I need from you. Now, as arranged by Guillaume, you shall be fitted with appropriate armor for the tourney. Hmm, shiny. You have also been assigned a tent for the tourney's duration. It stands near the arena. Good luck. Geralt, you are looking sharp. Although, I think my carry weight is full. Oh, great. Okay, right. I'll quickly sort this out, guys, and then we'll uh, we'll go and do the thing. <laughs> okay, I finally made it. That took so long. Right, you. Um. I need to. I just need to offload some stuff, really. Okay, look. Take all my terrible armor. I'm just gonna sell. I'm even gonna sell these. I don't need them. All right. I can get more. Their, their, their duplicate items, are, I'll get them down the line. If not, oh well, I lost I lost some gauntlets I was never, ever going to wear or put anywhere. Right, so, so long. The guy also mentioned something about a tent, but I'm pretty sure that might come about later on. So we're just going to carry on for now, make a quick save. Let's do it. Geralt, well, I'll be... Have you decided to turn Knight Errant? All jesting aside, here on a job. You in the 22? Am I? Ha! I shall square off against Rain Farn of Atre. I saw him just moments ago, a nervous wreck, stuffing his nose with fish tech, no less, as if that would aid his determination. Guessing that's against the rules. But who's to tell the Nifgardian what to do? Listen, Geralt. I have a tip for you. The timing of your marksmanship duel is such that you shall have the sun in your eyes. Makes no difference to me either way. Nor will it give you any pleasure. Since as it is we must both wait, play me in a round of Quint. Should you win, I shall swap with you. To me, a southerner, the sun is no hindrance. I mean, I was going to play Gwent regardless, but sure, I mean, if the sun's going to get me here. Never turn down a round of Gwent. I wonder how he feels about, you know, <laughs> his friend dying. <laughs> they were friends, right? They went all the way to, um... I, d I don't want to use the monster deck again, I'm going to be honest, guys. I just, I can't. Uh... I haven't used Northern Realms in a long time, actually. It's been a long time. Should we represent the Northern Realms? Why not? 
you know what, it's been long enough. Why not? What was the strategy with this again? I, I think I do remember. It's been a long time since I used it. Uh, long time, actually, now I think about it. Okay, this is a pretty good hand, actually. Oh, it's just got better and better. Okay, we're opening with the, obviously, the classic spy strat here. Oh, you wanna, you wanna decoy him, dear? Well, that's, that's up to you. Because I got another one. Okay. Interesting how you decoyed me there. Okay, I'm gonna put this down, get him to 10, put down a 15, win the round, skip, there you go. Then I'm gonna force them to play basically every card they've got. Um, they're probably gonna revive all my spies though, I imagine. God, everyone's got a Siri now. That was a rare card one day. Uh, was it even a rare card ever? It, it, it took me... I, I mean, I had to get it. God, this feels nice to play the Northern Rounds again, though. This is like the classic card. As long as I maintain this sort of massive annoyance to him, uh, I'm sure it'll annoy them enough. Oh, you want to put down a 10, do you? Well, I've raised you a 10. I'm actually going to put down... Um, I'm going to put down both of these because I can revive them with those. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to do that. That'd be kind of funny. Um, I could Scorch, but honestly, I may as well just wait. Because they might even... Yeah, there you go. As was expected. Right, I'm going to Scorch the Milva. And then I'm going to pass next round. I could probably just win now, but honestly, I'm not too bothered. Wow, they're really pulling out all the stops there. Do you know, oh god, they had two Commander's Horns left, there's nothing. You know, I'm just curious how high I can get this. Because it's actually like a really good ending thing here. Northern Realms is a really high point one if you can get like a really good hand. I'm not trying to show off, he was just doing this as a friendly game and then he said he'd swap with me. I'm just, I'm curious how high I can get it. It's been a while since I've been able to get a hand this high I feel. Ooh, it's a high hand. Good game. Good game. I congratulate you, we shall swap as agreed. We've passed the time rather nicely. Later, Fifian should appear forthwith. I'm off to face my first challenge. Good luck. Fair knights, I salute you. The honor and duty of Tourney Patron have fallen to me this year. Fight honorably, so that I may bestow upon one of your number the Tourney's grand prize. You have sworn your vows. You have readied body and soul. The time has come to test them. Behold Horm Akispark of the Mechtian Royal Line. His name's quite the mouthful, a true challenge to rhyme. His targets to be hit centrally and true are the ones in blue. Against him new blood, a knight unknown till now. Sir Geralt of Riffia, give us a bow. The targets he must with his quarrels thread are red. May the better man win.
God, we got a big audience. Okay, let's do it. Like a lover ghostly grasping, but one fair teat, girls half strewn, twixt joyous victory and bitter defeat. Geralt jumps ahead, leaves. Why not? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Sir Geralt of Frithia has trounced his foe, pounded him soundly, immersed him in woe. Your prize, sir. A crossbow adorned with your crest. I congratulate you. Thank you, my lady. Medallion hums when you're near. What are the other prizes? <laughs> Hopefully I can ask both. Please let me. Would you tell me about the other prizes? Alas, I cannot devote more time to you than to the other combatants. I have duties to attend to. Forgive me. Okay, right, medallion hums when you're near. Here we go. I, w I thought she was going to leave then. I thought, is this one of those dialogue things where it's like, you know, you say one... Th it's like the manga thing. Right, okay. Uh, medallion hums when you're near. My medallion's vibrating strongly. Can only mean one thing. Magic. The explanation is disappointing, I'm afraid. The fragrance I use, it's mixed by a sorceress. To lose to an opponent such as you is a victory of its own. Accept my congratulations as well. Thanks. Good work! In the interim, I managed to determine which tent Lady Vivian occupies. Perhaps you could find a clue within it. You're right. Vivian's cursed in some way. Sensed it when she opened the tourney. In that case, we've no time to lose. Let us go. Uh, sure. Also, I was paying attention. He said, like, Mictian, Mictian Royal Lines. I'm assuming it's Mict, is how you say it. It's such a weird... Although, is that, like, the Tucson way of saying it? Mict. I'm referring to the other thing. If you, have, if you have no idea what I'm talking about right now, it doesn't matter. Right, yep, let's do it. Let's go and do it. I'm happy I won that. I think I did pretty well, you know. I was, I was, I, I, I like, I did that thing where I, I kind of knocked every single sign and then I looked back and saw some and didn't, and thought, oh god, were there lower ones? But no, they were just, um, ones I knocked down. Right, okay, let's do it. Yeah, let's go now. This is her tent. You must look inside. Search it. I shall hoot like an owl should someone approach. Okay. I could 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 you could you could you could you do a test hoot? No, right, okay. Um wait, I wanna put on this crossbow real quick. Where's the crossbow? Oh, Geralt of Rivia's crossbow. And it's a really good crossbow. It's actually way better. It's 300% more attack power, and it does more damage. Let's put it on. Oh, fair Vivian. Thou hast Duff's eyes within thy locks. Thy lips Claw marks, are that's clear. Scarlet. Not thy sure what beast left them, like... just that it's big. Okay, and this is the perfume, I'm assuming, maybe? Jar of concealing ointment. Powerful magic at work here. Oh, so she kind of was telling the truth about wearing something thing. Claw marks. Oh, yeah, That's clear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not sure what beast left them, just that it's big. I hope this isn't timed because I am just kind of getting whatever I can. Oriole yeah. feather. If you can keep a bird as a pet. No sign of it here, if so. Hmm. Ruxay tend to be fond of birds. That is true. Vivienne's notes. Blav dash Feyen expenses. So it's the month, the expenses of those months. Um, 14 L's of cloth, L's of cloth, 80 crowns, shoes, dragon skin, 140 crowns, racing saddle, 280 crowns, magic cream, uh, 1,400 crowns total. Oh, is that, is, is she saying, like, total for everything and the magic cream? That's a weird thing, so you have to, like, add them all up and then work it out. Okay, maybe, I don't know, I'm not gonna bother doing that, though. <laughs> 
<laughs> you can if you want. Hairs and salts. Hmm. Used to make compresses. I'm not sure. Oh. Someone approaches. Quickly. You were supposed to hoot. We shall speak later. We must return to the tourney now. It's it's time for the second contest. Sirs, what seek you in my lady's tent? Inspiration? Be gone from here. Okay. Why were you in there? Uh, tourney business. Nothing of import. Was that timed? I'm curious. I'm going to try something. Okay, guys, I've done something a little bit um, sneaky here. I've just gone back on a save because it turns out you can't look at literally everything that they have oh, in yeah. here. But um, I, I should have pretty looted all this. Did I loot all this? I don't even know if I looted this before. Right. Doesn't matter. But um, I just... Um, the, the one thing I couldn't examine, because you're only allowed to examine everything but one thing, it seems, um, is this. Unless you, like, skip a bunch of dialogue. So I just want to show you that, and then we'll go back to actual what I did. Clothing's all dark green and yellow. Seems Yen's not the only one with a fixed color scheme. Okay, well, there you go. Okay, we're back. I just want to show you guys that because it's just something that, um, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of cool to see all of it. And uh, it was only one thing. I don't think it's too big of a deal. Uh, technically, we didn't see that, though, I guess, by, by, by game canon of my Geralt. It's confusing. Um, what I want to go and do now, though, because it says I have to go to the the entrance, go to the entrance to the racing course. That is the hardest one, surely. I mean, that was what I found the hardest out of all of them, so I'm going to assume it translates. I, um, I want to buy some horse armor. I know that I shouldn't be using my money on it, but if I'm going to be racing Roach, I want to get her, you know, the best possible looking armor. She's got some cool looking armor there, but I want it to match too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a save. Make another little save there. And I'm going to check with this blacksmith what armor they've got. I'm assuming all the Roach armor is about the same. Oh, does this guy not sell it? Oh, it's the other one, maybe, right? Oh no, yeah, of course this guy, right, this, hang on, this guy doesn't sell it, I went to the wrong one, it's this guy, I thought both of them sold, I guess not, maybe not, maybe, maybe I'm thinking of another smith, I knew there was multiple smiths that sold horse armor, okay, okay, this guy definitely sells it. Okay, so there is the saddle of the five chivalric virtues, the Toussaint saddle, the grapevine saddle, a Beauclair saddle, and some saddle bags. Uh, I have no idea which one to equip. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy all of them. I'm going to try the best combination. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to go back on the save and just pick the one I want the most. So I already made a save, right? I think I did. Right. That's what I'm going to do. Obviously, I'll just use the Beauclair saddlebags anyway, but. All right, we'll just buy all of them. I think I get um, stuff in the tournament uh, that I'm doing now anyway, and I and probably so, just later on I'll find things, but I just want to get a cool roach outfit for this specific little bit coming up, you know? I feel like we haven't put enough time into jazzing up roach. I mean, we, we have, actually. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. We have. But, you know, I still want to do it. Okay, so we have Beauclair binders... Okay, we have a bunch of stuff. I'm a, I feel like we should use a complete set. So we have Knight Errants. Um, is there like a Knight Errant? Okay, Knight Errants. And then whatever that is. Okay, Knight Errants looks nice. Kind of fits, kind of fits. Kind of like it, Roach. You're looking good there. I actually like that one. Right, so we got Knight Errants. Right, what's the next one? Beauclair. Just classic Beauclair armor. Yeah, don't like that one. It's not going to be that one. Uh, Ke a crazy name. Um, that's the saddle I already had, right? I do quite like that one, I will admit, but I, I, I'm I, still leaning towards the Knight Errants out of all of them. So far. Toussaint Blinders. Did I not... What was I using before? Beauclair Binders Knight Errant. So, yeah, we've used this, we've used this. That's the Ethereal one. We just put on the Toussaint Blinders. I don't know what that fits with. That's the Five Chivalric Virtues, Grapevine. 
Beauclair, Knight's Errant. It's, it's got to just be Beauclair, right? I guess Beauclair has two? I don't know. That's confusing. Maybe, maybe there's not complete sets in all of these. Okay, what sort of saddles have we not tried out yet? We haven't tried out the grapevine. How's that look? Oh, I like that, actually. That's nice. I mean, it's, it's, it's good. It's good. Um, is that all of them? Have I tried them all out now? And, yeah, we're back to the Knight's Errant. What does that look like again? I think that was the one I liked the most. Yeah, I like the Knight's Errant. Okay, I've gone back on my save. I know exactly what style I want to go for for Roach. I don't want to be wasting too much money. However, um, if I don't collect all the horse armor throughout playing this, I'm not sure if you can or not. Uh, by the time I get to a certain mission, I will just come here and buy it all. Hopefully, I will remember to do that. If not, oh well. But because I do want to get like every, um, you know, every thing in the game in regards to Roach stuff. Like, you know, unique things that I think are cool. Like special saddles and stuff like that. At least, I don't know, the main ones. The main ones that are not a pain to get. I think I, I think I must have got everything, surely. So that's, that's better, right? I can't even compare it. It's not even, it's not letting me compare anything. Hang on. Let me try this. Is it working? Okay, it's working now. I'm just curious how much better that stuff is. I didn't really look at the stats. Better. Oh yeah, that was the saddle we, we found, so it's about the same. Right, and this should make us look very knightly. Oh, perfect. Go, go. Look at this. This is the style we're going to go for for this tournament. I like it. Maybe this is our Roach style for Toussaint. Come on, Roach. Okay. Let's go to the tournament. Should I ride in? Right, let's ride to this tournament, or this race, I guess. It's part of the tourney. It's technically a tournament. Oh, Gion's waiting. Hey, Gion. You alright? Right, let's ride in on Roach. I feel like I should take off the uh, the trophy of Roach, you know? The, the little pig head. Actually, you know what? I like it. I'm keeping on the pig head. It's funny. Although none of them have pig head. You know what? I like the pig head. It's staying on. Let's do it. Whoa! Behold, gallant knights and ladies decorous! Gaze at the host assembled before us! Look upon chivalry's best and most storied! Come from far lands, here to seek glory! Hear now their names as I shout them aloud! Savor their titles of their presence, be proud! Palmerin, the Baron of Longfall! Linus of Metida! Rainfarn of Atra! Hormakaspark of Meicht! Dunimir of Troy! Guy de Boisfren! In service to the Duchess! Delwyn of Craigiau! Count Ty of Dondal! And say of Lyria and Rivia a prince! Geralt of Rivia! For Gregoire of Mount Gorgon, let out a roaring cheer! The faint fire of silence, Tony champion from last year! Today's winner of contests, his victory to secure, shall face a Gregoire in a challenge severe! Does ignorance demand a part in deceit? Does someone need telling how Tawny's proceed? <laughs> Should I just say... I'm going to say yes. I like to participate in this. <laughs> oh. Yes, I do, if you please. Ere eh, the sands from the glass retire? Any chance you could say it normally? None at all. <clears throat> Ere eh, the sands from the glass retire? And hearty toil your steed does tire? Neath all the gates you must guide your horse, and each of five targets strike with bolts. Each dummy felt adds more sand to the glass, and each true shot bolt repeats the task. Yep, all clear now. How dare you enter a tourney for nobly born knights? 
Your knighthood came through the grace of my mother, me, Queen of Lyria and Riffia, whom you treacherously deserted mere days later. Your presence here is an offense to my honor. And yours is an offense to my eyes. If you're done, step aside, Prince. The Tony's protector, the mate Vivian. Her beauty entrances both beasts and men. My heart's greetings, dear knights. May my grace guide you and show you the path of honor, valor, and glory. Accept my wishes of good fortune, sir, and devote all your strength to the tourney, and only it. The time has come for you, Sir Knight. Mount your steed, swift be your flight. Ladies and gentlemen of lineage illustrious, soon steeds shall swarm like ants most industrious. To beat time's passage, they'll ride like the gale. What a sight to behold, what a lark, what a tale. Before us, Geralt, from Rithia come, fast as the wind, bright as the sun. Okay. Oh, God. Right. I believe in myself. I can do it. <sighs> this is going to be hard. This is going to be hard. This is going to be really, really hard. But I, all I need to do is hit enough that I can get the timer there. I don't need to hit everything. Uh, that's, like, impossible. But I just need to do enough. Okay, that's one. That's one. That's one. That's fine. That's fine. God, I don't know how to determine, like, which which side it's going to hit. Right, that's two. Keep going. Uh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. And hit. Got it. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Things are going well so far. Things are going well so far, but we'll see. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, got it. I got it. Okay. Okay. Got it. Uh. Uh. Okay, I got it. It's fine. Fine. Got basically full time. A little bit of mistake there. Okay, there's one coming up. Okay, got it. Keep going. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Got it. Where are you leading me? Okay. Okay, got it. Okay, oh, you can actually like slow it down. That makes it way easier. Okay. Oh. Okay. Have I done it? So close. Will he last? Enjoy and keep pace. Oh. A race of such style, such grace, such speed. To watch was a pleasure, a treat indeed. To honor our entrance, praise each fair night. We shall feast from eve till dawn's first light. The finest of wine and food shall be served. If you've blood in your veins, come collect what's deserved. I congratulate you. Here, your price. A saddle adorned with your crest. Many thanks. By the way, my maid saw a man with white hair sneak out of my tent. Would you know who it might have been? No idea. How juvenile. Congratulations on your win. 
in stellar style, no less. Ah, I no longer regret I was not able to participate. Almost. We must drink to this. Come with me to the feast. We shall await Vivian together. Lead the way. So, any thoughts on Vivian? Her beauty's striking. That is not what I ask. Still too early to say anything I'd be willing to stand behind. Managed to figure one thing out. She uses powerful magic, masking illusions. Do you mean to say she might in truth look different than she seems? Only guessing right now. Found some clues. Got me wondering if your beloved Vivian's not a Bruxa. A Bruxa? You mean a... a vampiress? Not sure yet. We've still some time before Vivian arrives. Let us drink. Why not? Thanks. Some of the t uh, some of the time. Yeah, we'll, we'll always agree. <laughs> that that guy's. I only realized. I'm gonna be honest. Towards the very end, that you can like hold it and it slows it down slightly, which makes it a little bit less like jittery. But I I can't believe I hit everything. I'm honestly like shocked that I managed to do that. I I, I have no idea how I did that. I, I get the practice before. It was the practice before. Right, why not? Sure. To Vivian. May you find the means to aid her. To Vivian. Ah, when I first laid eyes on her, I finally understood what all those poems and ballads were trying to say. Love's not poetry alone. Sometimes it's prose. Sometimes it's just plain ugly. You say that only because you do not know Vivian as I do. A life with her would be sweetness itself. Actually, you don't know her all that well either. Her presence at this tourney is an affront to my honor. I demand satisfaction. Head to the nearest brothel then. Cow. Mounted combat in the main arena. I challenge you. Oh, more mounted combat. You know what? We'll do it. <laughs> Why not? Since you insist, I'm all yours. You shall bitterly regret deserting my mother's army once I'm done with you. May the blood I will spill wash away the stain of your cowardice. Let's get this over with, quick. Three, two, one. Okay. I know what I'm doing now. Oh, sort of. Oh, okay. I kind of know what I'm doing now. I kind of know. Roach. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm getting better at mounted combat, guys. I can actually do it. Oh, I'm going to try this out more. This is... It's good that I got it in Tucson, no? Oh. Look at this. Oh, I missed. I missed. I missed. Don't, don't let your overconfidence thing... Whatever. I should take a contract on like this. Ah. Uh. Damn, you're ugly. <laughs> For reasons unknown except to them, the gods have chosen to punish me with defeat. But do not think your cowardice will be forgotten. Damn it. You still going on about that? Need to clear this up once and for all. Had to abandon your mother's camp back then because someone else needed my help. Badly. Couldn't refuse them. Didn't want to, in fact. <sighs> you mean to say... You had a secret mission, set off to accomplish it, having vowed to tell no one of its nature, until you did? Something like that, minus the vow. And, uh, I'd still rather not divulge the nature of my secret mission. Can you accept that as justification? In agreeing to duel, you proved yourself a true knight. Thus, I accept your word as that of a man of honor. Glad to hear it. Now I got work to do.
My heart swells to behold this beautiful celebration of valor and honor, and to witness you, who embody the chivalric virtues in your lives, strive for greatness. Yet, after a time of combat must come a time of peace and respite. Thus, I invite all who fought in the tourney to this feast held in your, and none others, honor. And should any among you crave solitude, private tents await you nearby. The group melee shall take place on the morrow. Glory shall be within grasp for each and every one of you. The best among you shall have the honor to face our reigning champion, the famed Grégoire de Gourgon, victor of last year's tourney. Celebrate, make merry, revel as you will, yet be mindful of the trial that awaits you tomorrow. Follow her. We shall meet in your tent before your last contest. You must help her. Uh, sure, I guess we'll go and follow her. Okay, Guillaume. Greetings, Geralt. I'd like to have a little look around the party first. I will follow her in a moment, Guillaume. So what's going on here? Heart overcomes all yeah, I'm glad we're now kind of friends. Yes, fellow knight and friend. Oh. Hear that, fellow knight and friend. I'm gonna put on this saddle. I did just buy the other one, but you know what? I'm probably gonna have to buy them all at some point anyway. Oh, Although I probably will just find more, right? There doesn't seem to be much here. The scars of that uh, uh, God. Okay. Ah. Right, okay, I guess we'll go we'll go find her, right? There doesn't seem to be much uh, going on here. Is there, is there anything going on here of interest? Well, if there's anything at this party that I've missed, I guess we'll be looking at it in the next part. <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> there's just a lot of people dancing and having fun, you know? I think that's all that's going on. We'll go find Vivienne. I think she ran off to her tent, right? Ah, uh, maybe we can search that thing now. Hmm. Strange. We're sure I'd find her here. Vanished. Melted into thin air. And that bird. Is she a Bruxa? Oh yeah, that bird. That was the bird from before. It was sort of watching us. I can actually loot this place now. I didn't do that before. No idea why. It just didn't happen. Okay. Oh, Geralt. She has like a bath. Oh, nice. Okay, let's have a look at this bird then. Flew off. Worth going after. Oh, I gotta follow the bird. Hang on. Oh. Need me somewhere. Oh god, I'm not swimming. I'm not swimming. It's too tough. Okay. I can still see it. I see a red thing. It's a boar, I think. Oh no. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Freeze art is amazing. I, I just love it so much. Although I've got to be careful because I think if I kill something with it, it just doesn't work. Okay, there's the little yellow bird. It's sat on this rock. It's almost like it's trying to lead me there, isn't it? Leading me through all the dangerous animals.
Okay. Actually drops pretty good stuff. Alright, where'd you go, bird? God damn it. Leave me through all the animals. I hear something else. Oh. Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. Okay, bird. Hopefully this toxicity will clear. I could drink the thing that clears toxicity. Um, is this... I think it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Bird. Oh, I see it, I see it. That's it, right? What? Well, there's something red over there. Okay, we'll have a look at that later. Oh, oh, oh. Bird flew off over the hill. Might be quicker to pass through the cave. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a white. Oh my god. No, I think it's time for... Oh wait, no, I'm not gonna do that, I'm not gonna do that. I don't need to. Oh my god. I just... Uh, okay. Oh, I hear something else. Oh. What's in this cave? Look for the bird in a moment. Currently, there are things to get. Okay. I love using the torch in caves, by the way. It feels very cool. Okay, there's the bird. Is it testing me or something? There it is. I'm trying to pick up herbs as I go, but I'm kind of doing a bad job of it. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Witcher. Lady Vivian. Counted on me getting lost. I did. I thought you no different from the knights. Good at tourneys, hopeless in the face of true danger. I was mistaken. So you're not actually a Bruxa. A what? Suspicion I had that you might be a vampire. Certain details seemed to confirm it. Then I changed my mind. Anyway, unimportant. Here you come to this clearing often. This is where it all began. And as I was not able to evade you, save myself from you, then I want it done here. In this very spot, with no witnesses. Want what done? While you are a witcher, you were hired to kill me, were you not? Then do so, now. And do it quickly, I beg you. I shan't resist. Witchers only hunt monsters, and even then, not all. You're no monster. 
Then what am I to your eyes? Afflicted by a curse? Can't you just tell me? Don't know yet. I don't know. I'd say afflicted by a curse, but Geralt doesn't actually know that. Uh, uh. I, d I don't know yet. I, w I would assume afflicted by a curse. That's what I'd assume. Most likely you've been cursed. Don't know who by or why yet, but hope to find that out soon. If you've no contract on my life, why take an interest at all? Did Guillaume put you up to it? Is that why? He wanted to help you. Asked me to do him a favor. Frankly, if I can do something for you, I'll do it, willingly. Why should I trust you? Because the Duchess trusts me? Because I'm a freak, too? Because cases like yours are my bread and butter. Take your pick. You shall not turn on me. Use what I say against me. You shall not tell anyone. Got nothing to fear. I swear on the heron. All depends what you say. I'm just gonna say you got you got nothing to fear. I'm not gonna swear on the heron, but I, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be serious. Here. I'm gonna be honest. You got nothing to fear. Came here to help you. And I won't peep a word to anyone unless I decide it's absolutely necessary. Ah, uh, so be it. I shall tell you what my mama once told me. When she was with child, expecting me, she and my father spent much time together near the wood, here in this clearing. Mama loved to listen to the Orioles sing. She would stroke her belly and say, My daughter should be as beautiful as that bird. Such is my wish. But a creature dwelt in the wood who envied my parents their happiness. One day it appeared before them to say the whole wood belonged to it, and they had dared to delight in something that was not theirs. It demanded payment, and when my parents said that they had nothing, it claimed their unborn daughter as its own. What did the creature look like? Parents ever described the creature? They called it a nymph born of the deep woods, with no mother or father. But I was too young, too distraught by the curse's onset to ask after details. What happened then? What happened after that? Nothing at first. I came into the world a perfectly normal child, and my parents forgot that day's events. But 15 summers into my life, the curse began to show. Initially only when the moon was full. But now it's advanced so that even in daytime I must use magic ointment to mask its symptoms, to look normal. Thus I thought someone had discovered my secret, then hired you to kill me. In fact, I was resigned to death in coming here. Perhaps death would be preferable to my complete and permanent transformation. For I fear that is what lies in store. Magic illusions, using them can be dangerous. I'm trying not to put too much input in here, guys, just because I'm, I'm kind of, I love this quest, it's so good. I'm just enjoying listening and going along with it. Ointment you use includes a potent magic ingredient. You don't have the immunity mages have. Use heavy doses, or normal doses too long and it could be dangerous to you. I sensed this. The very reason I knew I would have to give it up in the end and bid my human form a final farewell. I could try to lift the curse. The curse, it could be reversible. Once ran into a baron transformed into a cormorant, ostensibly for good, managed to cure him completely. And you truly think you could do something like this for me? Can't guarantee a thing. Tough case yours. You were cursed before birth. That alone complicates things. Also, you claim the curse is increasing its hold. Symptoms are progressing. Could try transferring the curse onto someone else. What? 
Out of the question. I shall not allow it to ruin an innocent's life. Is this the only method you know? Only one that's completely safe. So there is another. You're quick to reject help. Oh, when he was talking about the Cormorant, I'm pretty sure that's in reference to Freshnet, no? It must be. Uh, if you don't know who Freshnet is, he I talked about him in a video uh, relatively recently, but I he he was the guy that Geralt met in Broccolon just before. Well, obviously he'd met him before then, but the, when you first properly meet him in the books, you meet him in Broccolon, and uh, it's it's when. I, I don't want to spoil anything, actually. Let's just say you meet him at, in Broccolon at some point. Right, you're quick to reject help. Pretty quick to reject help. Why is that? The curse once transferred would probably have a weaker hold on the new host. Lots weaker. I do not even wish to hear of it. Could you not just transfer it from host to host to host to host until it got so weak it didn't even matter? Or would it just, like, is it, like, depreciating? So you transfer it once... Then the second time does nothing. It's just because it's not her. Right, okay. There is another method. All right. There is another. Ancient ritual. We'd need an Oriole egg. Should release the curse's grip permanently. Gotta warn you, though. Could have serious consequences. Consequences? What kind? Curse was cast before you came into this world. Ritual involved transferring it to an as yet unhatched chick. You'd be free. Thing is, you could be left with the average lifespan of an Oriole. Seven years. I understand. Alas, every rose has its thorn, and there are no happy endings. Yet truth be told, I never thought I would get one. I came here prepared to die. Yet you wish to give me seven years of life. Real life, free life. This is no dilemma. I agree. Wholeheartedly. I see why. I understand. Don't have to decide just yet. Think it through. I will. They must miss me at the tawny grounds by now. Shall we? Return. You know what? Let's go together. I'll... I'll I can come back here later, right? I... I kind of want to have a look around here, actually. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's return. I don't think there's anything here, surely. I mean, I can come back if necessary, right? And just get whatever's here. Or, you know, whatever. It's fine. I'd, I'd like to go back with her, I think. Let's. But are you gonna... Uh, yes. I cannot appear there all in feathers. Pardon me for a moment. You can change it, Will? No, but I discovered the water of this pool helps. Its effects are brief, but I can always be sure of them. Hmm, interesting. Come. Did you learn anything? Yeah. Then speak, man. Can you not see I'm out of my mind with worry? What ails her? She asked me not to talk about it. But I want only the best for her. Perhaps I shall be able to help or, I don't know, console her at the least. A powerful curse afflicts her. Sorry, promised her I wouldn't tell. Well, we didn't actually promise her we wouldn't tell. We said that... We won't tell anyone unless it's absolutely necessary. Is this absolutely necessary? You know, she wanted me not to tell anyone, and I feel like I should obviously respect that. You know, it's her choice. She wants to do this whole thing with an egg, um, although it could leave her with seven years of life. And it's not really up to me necessarily what happens, but, you know, as in, you know, 
if she told me not to tell anyone, I really shouldn't. Although, you know, Guillaume is just trying to help. And it's not like he's got her best interests at heart, you know what I mean? Like, it's... If he knew, it's not like he's going to... It's not, it's not like it's going to negatively affect her. He's not going to start telling people. We, we have determined this. And I will take the responsibility if he does. He's very involved in this. He's kind of done a lot to try and help her. That doesn't mean he's entitled to know, but I, I think that him knowing is going to do... You know, is only going to help, surely. Ugh. Look, guys, I know the way this quest can go. I know that there's, there's multiple ways this quest can go, and in order to get... Uh, it's debatable, really, but I think technically the best ending, or the ending that I think is probably the best, I, I have to tell him. And if I was actually in this situation, I don't know if I would tell him or not. I don't think I would. But because I... You know, I'm going to tell him. I'm going to tell him. I've made the decision. It is going to happen. We were both right, actually. It is a curse. One that's transforming Vivian into a bird. Her condition's getting worse. Gods! A curse that is a worse affliction than disease. What now? Can you help her? That'll depend on her. I'll try if she asks me. Significant risks involved, though. Shortening her life to about another seven years included. What? This is not what we agreed. It's all up to Vivian. Spells complicated. Or Vivienne. I mean, it is up to her, but the spell is complicated. You know, I'll say that. Tough case. Curses hold on her grow stronger every day. And I'm a witcher, not a miracle worker. Heard of one other method that could work. Curse could be lifted via her reflection, say in a pool of water. Thing is, we'd need someone who'd willingly assume the burden of the curse. Take it on in her stead. You mean, become a bird themselves? Theoretically. See, curse grows weaker once it's transferred. Might end up as just an appetite for seeds and worms. All outcomes are on the table, though. Death included. I am prepared to sacrifice. Give my life for her. Just as King Friedank's knight did for the beautiful Queen Sero. Knew that already. But are you prepared to swallow bugs for the rest of your life? <laughs> yes. Which method do you believe to be best for Vivian? Don't know yet. But you have some notion, have you not? Do not tell me you seriously consider drastically shortening her life when I stand prepared to shoulder the burden. Need to perform the egg ritual. Should try the water method. Look, I will also say, guys, I know Vivian really wanted the egg ritual, but... Geralt is a professional at this sort of thing. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's got to be respected in some regard. Like, he told Vivian, he was like, you know, it, it will actually be fine. You know, it's probably going to be fine if you transfer the curse. She's like, oh no, I don't want to hurt anyone, whatever. But we have Guillaume here. He is completely willing. You know, he's up for it. Geralt's a professional. He's like, it probably will be massively weakened if we do it. I think we go with the water method. And, you know, I'm sure there'll be some, some discussion later on, and we'll see. Because sometimes you just got to listen to a professional that knows what they're talking about, and maybe this is that sort of case. You know, it's a hard one, because obviously I want to respect her wishes completely, but she is, in a sense, relatively naive to the whole thing. You know, relatively, because she doesn't necessarily know that the, um... You know, she doesn't really know much about this whole curse transferring and all that. She, I don't think she realizes that it could just be a tiny thing with Gilm. It could be nothing. As Geralt said, just wanting to, you know, he might have, uh, he might, I guess he could end up just eating seeds, but he could also just have, like, a craving or something. You never know. Yeah, right. I think we should try the, uh, the water method. Yeah. Method using a pool of water is better. Poses no threat to Vivian. Naturally. Y you must know you can count on me. I shall bear it all. Vivian, I fear she might be too proud to agree to such a thing. I'll meet her after the last contest. Talk to her. She could agree. I'm counting on you, Witcher. And I'm content we finally know something. What now? We know all, so you need not see the tourney through. You could withdraw. True, I shall get an earful from the Herald should you fail to show for the last contest. But it's nothing I can't handle. So, what will it be? Well, of course, I want to finish the tourney, guys. We've started this tourney. We've got our armor. We've been trying our best. 
I want to do it. I want to finish this tourney. I think it'd be a good idea. I, um, yeah, let's do it. I don't back out of anything. I'll take part in the last skirmish. Besides, Vivian will be busy till the tourney's end. Indeed. In that case, you must meet the other knights of your team. They await near the arena's entrance by the training ground. Got it. Thanks. I know now the two teams' rosters. I shall be captain of ours. That means you shall do as I say for the duration of the fight. Is this clear? Palmer and Alonso will lead the opposing team. With this skirmish, we commemorate the Battle of Fox Hollow of 1218, when a hands of southern outlaws led by Haller the Brown attacked Tucson only to be driven off by brave knights, thus setting a precedent. Since that day, knights errant have guarded the Duchy's borders. Palmerin drew the short straw, so his team shall play the Barbarian Haller's men. Any questions? None. I doubt you will do us any good. You know nothing of knightly combat as a witcher. Try at least to stay out of our way. It is time, gentlemen. Take your weapons and proceed to the arena. A cheer for the knights, the ladies, the lords. For our next entertainment, the team shall cross swords. Two rifle crews, two coteries shall fight, full tilt, till one stops to its knees. Whose virtue ignores, or lance blows, unclean, shall forever be branded as shameful, obscene. While the knights prepare, let me say I'm elated to behold such a crowd on edge, breath baited. Whoever here wins, the past champion shall face. All others must leave, heads bowed in disgrace. <laughs> Let us begin! Clout, race ruckus! Blood, sweat and tears shall soon follow in buckets. Okay, so we gotta fight the nobles. I mean, the training wasn't too hard, but... Uh, we'll see, eh? There's like five of them. I can just deal with them quickly. Okay, okay, three of them have decided to team up on me here. Gotta be honest, not feeling great about it. Also can't get a hit in because they keep chasing me. Stands alone, he fights on, but inside does he weep for those who have gone. Okay, I'm alone. Did, is that what he just said? I just realized all my team are gone. This, you are oh. Okay, come on, what is that guy's health on? Got him. Got him. It's one hit. Two hits. Okay, I'm gonna try and use Axe Guy to get hits on them because they are just. No mercy! Okay. I think one at a time. See, it doesn't matter which one I get now, really, because one hit and I'm sort of dead. Uh, I'm assuming I can't use signs or potions. I haven't even tried. I feel like I, sh I shouldn't, right? Surely that's dishonorable. Oh my god. Oh my god, I, I legitimately was terror. Oh my god. I I'm going like more more British as the uh as, as the death comes closer. 
okay. Ooh. Okay. Go on, give it a go. Give it a go, 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 go on. Now don't you run in as soon as he attacks, that's not fair. How did he possibly defend that? What? The problem is, is if I, I can't parry one because then the other one will just immediately try and hit me. Right. Are you are you joking? How did Duh Duh Okay, how the hell am I supposed to hit these guys? I gotta try and get behind them. But I can't get behind them when one of them is just like trailing me. Yeah, these guys are really tough. Uh Cut! Slice! Smash! God, imagine if I had the third sword guy here. Oof. Good thing I dealt with him early. It was a strategy, okay? Okay, I've sort of split them up. I, I, I literally can't get a hit in. I don't know how. Because I can't parry them. It takes too long to do that and then follow up with a hit and then run away while the other guy is suddenly moving towards me. Okay. How is he parrying that? Alright, I gotta roll away here. I gotta just try and get a look at this situation. Cut, slice, smash. But then they just run to you. Okay, 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 okay. That's one hit after about 10 minutes. See, if it was just one of them, I could deal with this easily. But it's two. I gotta try and split them up again. You can't, though, because then they just run towards each other. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Cheeky little hit. No mercy. I gotta get him further apart. They're too close. Okay, a little another hit there. It's only on certain attacks I think I can. He's just going crazy. Okay. Damn it, I thought I could get you it then. Shall evil okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Last one, last one. I don't want to parry him. I am too scared I will mess up the parry and then just lose. Nope. Uh-huh. That was very close. I gotta be more this guy's the hardest one for sure. Using your own teammate to just get a bit of a Okay, bleeding, bleeding! Okay, 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 thank god. That took so long to get any bleeding on this guy. Fuck you. Oh, I did it! Oh my god, I did it! I beat them! The world's never seen a fight quite so glorious. For showing such verve, each knight was victorious. Yet in tourneys as in life, but one champion may reign. Today, he is the one. Praised be his name. He felt a whole host slew the most. To Geralt of Rithia, who the strength of lions boasts. He sailed through all trials. Each test he passed with ease. But now awaits the last. Will it bring him to his knees? For Gregoire de Gorgon, who on this ground's last one, shall spar him for the title, and the day is done. To the tired remainder, we salute your endeavors. Return to your wives, your loves, your whomevers.
It is time. Step into the arena. Should you suffer grievous harm during combat, have you any last wishes, any missives you wish passed to your loved ones? Thanks, I'm fine. The Witcher of Rithia, Geralt his name, though aged be his visage, do not disdain. His locks true are white, but he was born to fight. Now entering the grounds, a titan of infamy, Gregoire de Gorgon, victor of Lassis Tony. I wish both combatants good fortune and fame. Okay, do I at least have my health back? I'm gonna go they with yes. Seek the crowns, the titans locked stairs, okay. ferocious and spry and wolves hunting hairs. Oh, you are nothing compared to what I just had to deal Madame with, mate. Mesdames et messieurs, our victor, our champion, the unequaled and silent Gregoire de Gorgon. Hip, hip, hooray! Hooray! And now a few words from us both. How did you survive the 5v1 onslaught, Gregor? You could just knock them all with one sword, right? Can't even hit me. So two tactics. He probably just tried to hit them all at once. With like one foul sort of sweep. Or swoop. Oh, okay. Get out of free fire! This year's champion! A sight to behold! He defeated Grégoire de Gorgon! Hail Geralt! Herald! 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 As patron of this grand tourney, I have the honor to decorate our grand champion. His vow he made upon his love for his heart's captor, and it was doubtless this vow that carried him to this splendid victory! He showed great courage, great strength, great composure. He fought nobly with honor, and thus rightfully deserves the title of this year's Champion of the Arena! I need to talk to you. Not now. We shall meet later in my tent. I have duties to attend to, as do you. Folk regard you. The least you should do is wait. my lady. Have you decided? I have. I stand by all I have said. I wish to endanger no one and thus choose the method involving an egg. If it's to be the egg of an oriole, I know where to find one. There is a nest in my clearing. Might you explain the nature of the ritual? Its exact course? Sure. I want to tell you something, though. I think we should try the alternate method first. I was clear. It is out of the question. Let me finish. Second method's less than reliable. To put it simply, might work, might not. But it will. I shall save you, O oh lovely Vivian. Why are you here, sir? This is a private conversation. Guillaume means well. No need to be sharp. Hear him out. Okay, right. Let me just quickly say that fight was so hard. The, the, I didn't even say it during the the second one because I was just like just trying to get it done. <laughs> I was like, oh god, I don't want to fail. But that that fight with the uh, the four knights uh, that, that that was was it four or five? I think it was five actually. That was awful. Oh my god, I I kind of forgot how hard that was. To be it's been a while since I've done Tusar, um, but yeah, that was that was incredibly hard. But I'm I'm actually really glad we did it. That was that was so that was that was the hardest fight in the game. That is the hardest fight I have had out of any fight in the game. Hundred percent. There is no fight I've had so far in this playthrough that I've actually been like, okay, this is actually 
I, I could I could lose here. And I think the main reason is that I didn't use any potions or signs. I'm pretty sure you can't use signs, although I'm pretty sure you can use potions, but I just wanted to be, a, you know, I wanted to just do it uh, the most knightly way possible. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy I managed it in the end. I, uh, you know, it, it was it was good. It was, it was a close one, though. Right, um, I'm not gonna tell her not to be sharp. I think it's fair enough. It is a private conversation. I also feel kind of bad about telling him, but I, I didn't necessarily say I wouldn't tell anyone, and I didn't, like, even promise I wouldn't. I said it, if it was necessary, and I feel like because this method is safer, it was relatively necessary to tell someone who might be able to help her out. Right, Guillaume means well. He's not your foe. Got good intentions. You guessed right. He hired me, but only because he wanted to help you. Be not angry, my lady. You no longer bear this burden alone. I know all. You told him! I know a curse afflicts you. A curse which grows more severe by the day. I understand how you feel. My aunt, Countess de Lonfall, once contracted a strange illness which ate away at her from the inside. She grew weaker by the day, the light fading from her eyes. I remember her saying the worst was not the pain, but losing mastery of her own body. She was so helpless. I fear you feel the same. The Witcher knows a way to lift the curse from you and let it rest on me. I wish to do this, to take it from you, Vivian. Why? Because I love you. I might have died in the arena. I sought to slay a Shalmar for you. But now I see the fool I was. Now I see how I risked my life for no purpose. Yet, with this, I can truly do something for you. I do not wish to inflict this horror on anyone. You saw how it looks, Witcher. I turn to you as one elder and hopefully one wiser as well. Do you think this a good idea? Worth a try? Don't know. I think it- I think it's worth a try. I th honestly think it's worth a try. I, I don't actually know, but based on what I've heard, it seems like it's the best methods that we've- we've got. You know, the egg one could give us seven years to live. Um, might not work type thing. So, I feel like this one is worth a try. Worth a try, as I see it. Original curse fell on an unborn child. Doubt it'll take hold as strongly when transferred to a full-grown man. You've now heard the expert opinion. Let us do this together, Vivian. Very well. I was prepared to die. Thus, I am also prepared to attempt something mad. Now, we must go to my pool in the woods, yes? Um, yeah, let's go. Everything's agreed, so no point wasting any more time. Let's go. aunt you mentioned. What became of her? She passed on. Uh, it didn't select the quest. Right. Okay. Go to the glade with Vivienne and Guillaume. Will do. Die, beast! Oh no. Don't worry, we have the best tactic for this. Oh. Uh, calm down, Gilm. So, this is my true form. It is not too late. 
You may still change your mind. It will bring no shame. My mind is made up. My resolve is firm. If you can handle it, so will I. You are beautiful to me, even as you stand now. Oh, that's clearly rubbish. Shut your eyes, both of you, and don't move. Guillaume? Yes, my love? If you become as I am now, I wish you to know I shall not leave you. Picture yourselves reflected in a pool of water. Focus on that. Now, open your eyes. Damn, I think it might have worked. Didn't think that'd work. <laughs> oh, wow, that was awesome. Right, yeah. Honestly, didn't think this'd work. Doubted anything would happen. Read about this ritual in Grim Wars. Descriptions all seemed dramatic, embellished. All stipulated a condition that seemed improbable. What condition was this? A real bond between those involved. True love. Oh. How do you how do you feel, Guillaume? How do you feel, in general? You feel it change, Guillaume? I was struck hard, as if by a battering ram. But now I I feel not at all different, apart from a slight itch on my skin. Are you certain it worked? Yes, something happened. Definitely, must be an intersection beneath this pond. Powerful magic at work here. Look at Vivian. What now? You get to live happily ever after. My work is done. I guess that I'm gonna say, I think that's a Geralt response right there. Now? Now you get to live together, happily ever after. Still, watch yourselves carefully. Notice any troubling symptoms, find me. Naturally. I thank you, Geralt. Oh. And your payment. Oh, at last, I have so much to make up for. Both to attend, distant lands to see. Free at last, as a bird. Ha! Huh? I find you droll. I had not noticed before. But you will not fly away without me. That remains to be seen, I think. But I too must thank you, Witcher. Don't mention it. You take care of both. Interesting. So the water. Oh wait, let me just let me just loot this thing. So assumedly because they they reverse the curse in this water, which seemed to have the properties of reversing the curse slightly before, or at least you know affecting it and getting it taken away. Maybe that allowed the curse to not have that much of an effect on Guillaume. I'm sure it'll affect him in some way, though, down the line, surely. In fact, I think it does. I don't want to say what, because they might say it later on. Um, in fact, I'm, I'm pretty sure I do know what it is, but I um, I don't want to say. Um, it might, uh, you know, be revealed to us as it goes on in the uh, the playthrough. But no, I'm glad I did that ending. There is another ending, which I'll just quickly explain, just for anyone wondering. Basically, you don't tell Guillaume the... Um, you, d you don't tell him because she asked you not to. 
and then um, he doesn't, he's sort of left in the dark about it. You do the other method, you cure her with the egg. Assumedly, she only has seven years to live after that point, although it's not exactly confirmed, I think. It's, it's not like, it's not like set in stone. It's just, obviously, you don't see what happens seven years later, so she might live longer, you don't know. Um, Guillaume then becomes very upset about it, gets really drunk. You, I think you can see him outside of a tavern and stuff. Um, and then, a, then a, a certain thing that happens later in the game, and I'm not going to spoil. I'm going to try and word this in a way that you guys will understand what it is if you've played the game. But if you haven't played it, don't worry. It won't be like a spoiler. But a, a certain event later on in the game, in which, um, um, is there anything I can use as like a marker? It's towards the end, and it's a very important event involving Beauclair. Hopefully, that's enough. Um, Guillaume, um, during this, during this particular event, he dies. I'm not, that's, that's all you get. There's no spoiler there, really. Just, uh, I mean, there's clearly going to be something important involved in Beauclair. It could be anything, could be a ball, could be whatever, right? Um, so yeah, Guillaume actually, uh, dies there. So, yeah, a little bit, it's not really a spoiler, because it's not going to happen in this playthrough, and I'm not going to say what's actually going to happen in this one, but, um, that's just how that route goes. And then you can actually go and see Vivienne in the Novigrad docks, and I think if you use console commands, you can get her to walk around a Skelliger or something. Um, and I think she also, like, goes to Guillaume's grave, and she's, like, crying there or something. So I went for the other ending, obviously, and it did require me to, to, like, lie ish to her not really but honestly i think is the better one and i am um, i'm happy i went for that one but no i have now realized that this um whole thing has taken me a very very long time to do like way longer than i was anticipating i forgot just how long this can all take so i'm actually not going to finish today with um la cage au faux or however you say it um oh actually i think la cage au faux means the the like the cage of madness or the madman's cage or the madness something like that so i don't know i don't know why i'm saying that now but no i um i'm not going to end on that quest because obviously it's it's quite a long one but i will end on something else because i i can think of a certain quest that i think fits quite well into the whole um nightly thing are they having a talk greetings Geralt. hail be praised Oh, it looks like they're getting along. Okay, no, right. They were there the whole time. Okay, um, this has made me feel weird now. No, right. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get back into the Manticore armor. I'm gonna head to where this quest is, and then I'm gonna end today's, um, part there. But I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go and do this final quest first. Well, guys, I have made it. See you in a minute, Roach. There can only be one. I think this is the perfect quest to end today's part. Is that loot I see? Oh. Okay, I may have to look around the island before I, I, I claim loot. Wait, wait. What am I even saying? I may have to look. I may have to look around the island so I'm able to claim loot before I go and do quest. I think it's a pretty short quest, so you know. Don't be too worried. Bunch of st oh. Wisdom is a virtue which one which one should strive to cultivate throughout one's life. For it is impossible to be so wise one cannot become even wiser. The wise know this. As we journey through life, we should seek to make wise choices. Remember, wise choices are not those which make our lives easier or simpler. Often, they make them more complicated. But they all, all, but always they make us better. Honor cannot be purchased. Honor also cannot be sold, for its value is greater than all the treasure in the world. Yet one can lose it, and whoever does so shall have sullied his name for all eternity. A truly honorable man always stands behind his actions, faces every challenge, and refuses to lie. There are many traits which bear witness to a man's true nature. Compassion is what separates men from beasts. Whoever feels sympathy for his fellow man will never turn a blind eye to misfortune. He will instead always stand in defense of the wronged. Valor does not make one good. Yet how many good men have you met in your life's, uh, men in your life's journey who are cowards? Those who possess valor do not hesitate to stand against the majority, no matter what the consequences. No man can be called good who does not share his prosperity with others. Generosity is required for dignity in life and peace in death.
I'm walking on water. Just like... <laughs> like who? Like a pond skater. Who are you thinking? <laughs> no matter. I suppose you thought nothing else in life could surprise you, eh? Wrong. Guys, I'm walking on water. This is incredible. <gasps> Does anyone remember this sword? Because I do. If you guys remember when we last saw this sword? It was uh, in the mouth of a dragon at the start of The Witcher 2. I had it in The Witcher 1 when I claimed it. And then I, I, you know, sort of lost it. And, you know, it, it happened, all right? And now here it is. It's back. Adron Dite. I hope I'm saying it correctly. I might not be. I just want... Geralt, reach down and grab it. Look, we're going to reclaim it. We've done our nightly quest. And we're ready. Hey, happen to know how the hell I can walk on that water? Naturally, I know. Since time immemorial have I dwelt in solitude on this shore, and I can testify to the extraordinary nature of the lake. What's so extraordinary about it? I mean, besides the fact that you can walk on its surface. A sword, most wondrous, lies in its depths. I watch over it. The blade may be grasped solely by one who possesses the five chivalric virtues. Folk call me a lot of things, but virtuous? I don't know. Yet I do know, for I know who you are. You have proven yourself capable of great sympathy. You are a man of honor. As many can attest, of humble means yourself, you show generosity to others. Your valor is the stuff of legends. Reason guides your actions, as it does those of all who are wise. You have proven the five chivalric virtues dwell in your heart. Mean the sword's mine? I can dive in and take it? The sword deserves the hand of a master. You must prove your skills are worthy through combat atop the water's surface. Are you ready? I'm ready. Anytime. Then draw your blade. This is the last call. Okay. Okay, this is proving... Uh, quite hard. Um, This one. Proven worthy of wielding the blade, beyond all doubt. Behold. 
your Arendite. We've met before. Certainly. The Hermit admitted he knew you, remember? The Lady of the Lake. It is I. Forget not that you are a man right and honorable, devoted to doing good. And for these reasons you received the blade. Now bear it. And I trust this time you shall not lose it. Just wonderful. Oh, wonderful. Okay, where is it? Oh. You might think, oh, it's worse in, in attack damage, guys, but first, look at it. Each blow generates charges which increase the sword's damage dealt by 10%. Uh, charges uh, lost over time or when receiving damage. A fully charged sword always deals critical hit damage. Killing a foe with a fully loaded sword will expend its charge to permanently increase the weapon's damage. Damage is increased by 0 to a maximum of 10, increasing along with my character level. That is insane. And with that, I think we're done for today. Well everyone, that's where I'm going to end today's Witcher 3 Blood and Wine part. It's been a pretty, um pretty full part today there's a lot that's gone on i feel like i've done a lot that final quest there is just amazing of course if you've watched the playthrough since the witcher one you'll remember the lady of the lake you'll remember when i got add on date as they they corrected me there um yeah and uh we finally got it back they even played the classic music if you uh if you noticed there lady of the lake was playing it's 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 amazing it's absolutely amazing guys and I'm so happy we've got back this sword. We did lose it. She was right. And uh, we've got it now. But anyway, I'm going to end today's Witcher 3 Blood and Wine part there. Be sure to like if you want to see the series continue. I appreciate it. And I just appreciate anybody that subscribes and all the rest. I, I just thank you very much, guys. Really do appreciate it. going to end today's part there. And I'll see you all in the next one. Have an awesome rest of the week.